The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. We live. Turn we it live. on. We got, we got a action. doozy here today. We got a doozy. We got action. We got a doozy. We got, we got, we got a doozy. doozy. Boy, do we Out have a doozy game. for you today. Uh -oh. Ish be keeping secrets. Oh. No. It's not ish. Secret. Yeah. Well, how about happy birthday? Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Well, happy birthday to my uncle. Well, he, yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, he kind of kept that a secret too for a minute. 50 years old. What I got? Happy birthday, kid. You look good, too. Ish. You look good. I see you filling up the spot back there. <laughs> like you trying to fill it up. You trying to spray it. <laughs> added, added, added some extra seats in there. Yeah. Come on in, y'all. Come mad. on. You mad, yo. I am mad. Watch it. Come on, nigga. <laughs> Of course. You look good. <laughs> you a fool, yo. Oh it's just meeting niggas in the vest fest and not letting niggas know behind the scenes so we can fry them up. Yo, bro, you keep what's it, wrong I'm, with I'm, you? I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm snitching. You not snitching. You you instigating bullshit. All right, of course. I, I don't want to instigate anything. But right, cool. say, a lot of times, nice. you know, I just want to say happy birthday. You know, Thank you, brother. I can I speak for everybody up here. We appreciate you. Thank we you, do. Brother. Yes, Likewise. You know, Likewise. Your presence, your knowledge mm -hmm. is important and instrumental your wisdom, to helping this ship. Yeah, that's right. We need Run. our OGs. Yeah, yeah, we do. We need our OGs. Salute the OGs. Promise land! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, I, this nigga, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> this nigga, Joe, would put a fit. Yo, that nigga took something today. Yo, what's wrong with you? Yo, because you know what? Joe was a funny this, nigga, this too. This nigga had some Jack D. This nigga, he files, huh? <laughs> nigga was putting fist up. <laughs> No, don't, nobody knows what you're talking about. I don't want to say it. Cause... Then shut up. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga crazy. Fuck that. Happy birthday, though. Thank you, bro. Happy How birthday. You? I yeah. appreciate it. I'm, I don't even want to ask you, but you, you got any birthday plans? Nah. <laughs> 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 I hate when you do that too. Like, stop. Then you go come here. Yo, guess what I did? You gonna say like he space. be doing some? He be doing yeah, some old. <laughs> hey, he do some old school. Yo, 1974 I took, I took shit. Piano lessons on Mars. Yeah, yo, he, he stupid. He yo. do some 1974 shit where you say what you did without saying what you did. Like, hey, yo, Ice, you, you guess you know, I fucking met this nigga. My man, you know my man. Where you saw him at? Oh, I saw him at the Apollo. Word, what you did the Apollo? Oh, yeah, I went there for my birthday. Like, stupid shit like that. Like, he don't want to tell you, <laughs> yeah. but he, he fits it in the sentences. He Fuck you, nigga. Yeah, he do Happy that. birthday. We love you, nigga. Thank and you look good, too. Woo. Barbie. <laughs> she said, woo. <laughs> that's, a fresh, that's a fresh one. Yo, yeah, that's, 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 that's a fresh one. That's new, bro. The guy in his Stop <laughs> He got that from the website. <laughs> the kind of. Yo, stop touching me. Yo, I, feel that. Yo, what's wrong How you with feel, you, man? Yo, Can good. we get a cake for this nigga? I want to throw cake in this nigga face. I want to turn up today. You throw the cake. That's what's coming right behind the cake. Oh, abuse. An uh, uppercut. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about, nigga? Nah, I'm just happy to see everybody. That's all. You got, you got your music queued up, some inspiration or something? Oh, nigga, Russian niggas. Is I'm not. Yeah, dude, <laughs> Russian. It's I'm his birthday. You. He's on He's on time yeah, yeah, today. Yeah, he's yeah. he ready to go. I'm not on time. Stop looking around like you're thinking to say something, nigga. We know. Yeah. You know what my man said? Play it. It's his birthday. He, he called whatever he want. Time at the time, nigga. <laughs> Nines. <laughs> Yo, Mel got the no, nah, not yet. I'm intro on this part. Okay. I'm super focused for 2020. Oh, this shit is right there. <laughs> Stop. I thought the last thing you would want to talk about is foot and ankle wear. Oh! oh. 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 See, this is why I need my shades. The little oh. sink bag don't even work without the shades. Oh, oh. oh. Right. Da, 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 da. Snowing go. out here, huh? We got some snow finally. We got action. We, we got some snow. It's my first time seeing my neighbors. I thought some of them cribs was vacant. <laughs> nah, no, niggas did. was outside. No, you didn't. Too many nice cars in that neighborhood. Yeah, ain't, no, ain't no vacancies. Yep, yeah, this is a bit I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> you, you knew though. <laughs> you just want to attach a, a face to the Lambo. That's cool See, though. Go ahead. My bit was more <laughs> comedy based, <laughs> not finance based. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. 
Yeah, the niggas was out there snowing. See, look, let's get back. Shoveling. Shoveling. <laughs> Shoveling. Yeah. They was out there shoveling. Don't let them face you. Don't let them face you. It's tough. It's tough. He's still going. <laughs> Set it up. Set it up wait, nice. Wait. So I got in my car and I turned my windshield thing and majiggy on. And that shit wasn't working. Man, I still. You shovel? <laughs> no. His right. back is bad. He can't bend. Pause. Hey yo, <laughs> how you know I can't how you bend? Know. Oh, so you can't bend. How you know I can't bend. <laughs> so you can't bend. I'm yo, not, I'm not, I'm not hello, Pepe Le Pew, nigga, you look crazy. Stop, I'm fry you up today. I'll fry you up, nigga. I look good. You look a Hawaiian all carpet 20, salesman, all, nigga. Very Sesame all, Street. You got you like, you like Big Bird's pops, nigga. You like Oscar the Bird grouch, nigga. I'll fry you up. Stop, Oscar the Bird grouch. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. The way you put shit together these days when you get money is different. You try to match the yellow with the hat. I worked on my bit all week. <laughs> oh, we go. I worked, I worked on my bit. I guess I'm sorry. We sorry. It's on. It's gone. No, nah, y'all win. What no, you be saying? Yo, yo you're no. a podcaster. You gotta get around it. So you turn off the door. Yeah, you turn off the door, no, sir. No, 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 please. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you niggas what it's like to be focused. Let's get focus, man. Web, nitty, yeah. <laughs> Worked on a bit. <laughs> Yo. He really worked on that. Look, he can't think about yeah, it. Yeah, I'm mad at y'all. I, it was a, I had a punchline. <laughs> all right, it's fine. I've never seen Corduroy sweats before. Whoa, all right, yeah, let's get back to frying me. Come on, what's up? <laughs> no, nah, it's good. Those are corduroy. Together. That's They're more corduroy. like. Um, mm. You put it together. It's, it's more like. Mm. Ribbed. They cashmere? Mm. Mm. What type of shoes are those? Thank you. <laughs> Sick of these goofs. <laughs> Yo, what would I do without Nigga, <laughs> nigga said you with the corduroy. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga said you with the corduroy. He fresh yeah. back from shoveling Buffalo Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looked like. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder. <laughs> those people with the hats, and the, those people in the forest that cut the trees the, wear hats like that. Yeah. Them, <laughs> them niggas was throwing, oh. them niggas throwing snowballs at the Steelers. <laughs> what? I wanted to throw some too, nigga. Oh, man. Yeah, I can't wait till we discuss football. That is so foul. <laughs> they do but, but if I have to shovel the snow in the stadium, pal, take, I'm throwing snowballs. I'm throwing snowballs. I was just helping out. It's happening. I was just helping out. You said clear the stadium, man. Yeah. They yo, have a snowball yo, fight that Still, the niggas so. turned around. It was nothing you can do. It was the mad snow. What yeah. you gonna do? What you gonna they do? They didn't run out of snow. <laughs> no. Oh, they threw, they, they, shit. No. They threw a lot of snow at them? No, yeah, nah, nigga, the whole stadium was throwing snow. They didn't. The, they, the I stadium ain't couldn't shovel the stadium. So they the disrespected all y'all teams. They did. Wait. No, we're not starting with football. No, we're not. No, no, no. we're not. No, we are <laughs> not. So let me get this bad boy on a go. Microphone check, one, two, what is this? Feeling good, feeling great, happy to be here. Blessed to wake up with breath in our lungs. Affirmations, affirmations for y'all out there. Positive vibrations. New Flip and Mel, Mel. Flip and Mel, Mel, Mel. Um... Even though I did find a drop. I did find a drop for you. I got to see, though. Oh, oh whoa, shit. whoa, whoa. I, got oh, shit. I did find a drop for you. I got one. Hey, yo, oh, nigga. I'm excited. <laughs> I got one for you now. <laughs> Try to get me out of here. <laughs> Where my drop at? Well, any week you could go. <laughs> like, I don't know. You, you are erratic. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> any, any, last week was tough. <laughs> but we made it. It was bad last week, right? Oh, my God. It was tough. You had to see my talk with Ian. <laughs> How bad was it? <laughs> Thank God I'm up. We here, though. We you help me down? My man, you my man, I love you. Yo, uh, what episode is this? 691. Welcome to episode 691 of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm so happy to be here with y'all today. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, highly favored, or lowly favored host, Joe Button, here with a few of my nearest and dearest to my right. Come on, man. What we got? To my right. <laughs> you may have seen on Smooth Magazine. <laughs> King Magazine. Eye Candy. Eye Candy. The Step in the Name of Love video. Yeah, she was around him. Oh, <laughs> you may have seen it in movies. Big screen. Small screen. You may have seen it in the Knock Yourself Out video. You may have seen her in the hottest clubs in Canada. You never know. Huh? You may have seen her in Brooklyn. 
Where all the neo soul chicks gather around. You may have seen it in Harlem. We have the one and only, the one and only Mel Ford, the beautiful, the intelligent, the accountable, the yoga guru. I do feel like this song is Mel shit though. The fitness fashionista. The Pilates princess. Huh? The Pilates princess. The Pilates princess. Oh, <laughs> the wig wizard. <laughs> oh, let shit. me hear you out there. <laughs> Melodies, let me hear you out there. Who we go? I will be waiting. <laughs> Lift them shits up, man. Yo, yo. <laughs> Please. Fuck. These boots that Mel wears here and everywhere, <laughs> Flip calling them the time after time <laughs> nines is <laughs> easily probably joke of the year for me so far. <laughs> oh, shit, man. We have Melissa Ford. <laughs> Mel. What? That is such an appropriate name for them boots. The time after time. What? Why don't you like my boots? I love them. Yo, you are such it's a Karen. Like, <laughs> it's like he's been walking. He's just been walking a lot. I love them. That's oh, the shit. point. They're vintagey. <laughs> you sure it's not really vintage? No, they're not. Vin- they're not actual it looks vintage. Nice they're vintage. They're vintage. They're vintage. And you look wonderful. Doing the video. Anything said, fuck any, it. Man, anything pertaining. <laughs> let, let me get these. <laughs> anything pertaining to footwear and sockwear, I don't want to have no conversation. That's you true. Look, you look amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. They're comfortable. To her right, her brother. (laughs) 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 Oh, yeah. Let me let y'all know I'm only here for silliness. I'm I'm not here for nothing serious. I'm only here to be a jerk. We have the amazing big queens, big flip in the building. Salute, salute, salute. Damn, that niggas ain't happy to hit. <laughs> oh, my bad. My bad. That, nigga, that nigga's on pause. Like, oh, he's still here? Oh, that nigga's just vile, son. I look like an idiot, yo. Oh, oh man. Shout out to Corey. He's my only man in here now today. To his right. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo, what's wrong with you, yo? Hey, yo, what's wrong with you, yo? This you is, may have is, seen him in Newark. <laughs> Home Depot. <laughs> Home Depot. Lowe's. Wawa. Wawa, for sure. This nigga is Gas stations idiot, all around so. America. Oh. Might have been on the phone with him for hours. You've seen him at Invest Fest. <laughs> at the strip club drinking water in Red Bull. Huh? Oh, <laughs> lollipops. Man. Trader Joe's. Mm, all them little white cool. spots. Uh, Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Barrel in the crack. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Whoa. Oh my God. It's <laughs> one. It's <laughs> one. Yo, La- ladies and gentlemen, Newark's uh, finest, the birthday boy himself. Fool, son. It's just here today, man. Happy birthday. Yo, this guy's a oh idiot, my God. Man. Oh my God. Oh man. Holy this shit. Guy's an idiot, man. Oh my God. <laughs> Big freeze in the building, huh? Big free. Uh, mm. Fuck they talking about. Ugg boots. Okay. Look. Pull out. Poe is here too. Niggas tried to pull out their boots. I see what y'all did today. <laughs> they trying to take Park Spot, man. No, we not. Niggas cold out this motherfucker. And last but certainly not least, Big Parks. Big Parks. Uh, big yeah. Parks. Yeah. Elmira's yeah. finest yeah, in the your building. Beard out. You really I looking am. Paul Bunyan and shit. Yeah. And you got the little tight beanie on. Yeah, man. It's cold out. <laughs> I hear you. It's cold out. Hold on. And to our left. The man of the plan. The one that got money and put things together just because he can. I didn't need any help with the intro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 I'm not done. <laughs> <laughs> he upgrades his jewelry whenever he wants. Mm-hmm. And you know who he is. And you none of us could front. That nigga. Oh, you rhyming. You a yeah, poet? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a poet, yeah, yeah. I might as well do the poetry because y'all niggas laughed at me. It's not me. Round of applause for I... Round of applause for the boss. He is like pays the cost. Joseph Button. Yeah, welcome. You look good. I feel good. I feel good. That's the important part. Thank you for that. So happy to be here today. So happy to be here. And shout out to you fans out there. Mm -hmm. Salute, salute, salute. Peace, love, health, wealth, prosperity. Shout out to the Patronis out there. Shout out to the ladies again, just because I see y'all. You should always be seen and heard. Um, 
How y'all feeling? What's up? What's feeling up, man? Great, great, man? Feeling great. Feeling great. Feeling fantastic. Great, great week. Mm -hmm. Snowing outside. Mm. It's about uh, time. I want to make. I want to go to Mel's block and make snow angels. I think you should. Yes. Tell her to come downstairs. Tell her to come downstairs and make some snow angels. Just. Feel youthful again. I mean, not saying you are. Sorry. <laughs> For me to feel youthful again. For wow. me. Ah. Yeah, you're not going to beat the allegations. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all going to bail me out. They fried your ass up in their spaces. Oh, they did? Who? Damn, I've been in spaces they in a while, man. Flip who? Uh, who? Up in who? the spaces. Who? Oh, I don't know. I wasn't looking at the screen. I was just hearing voices. Oh, okay. But boy, did they fry you up something good. That made you feel good, right? No. Yeah, it did. Well, I do like that people have a free space to kick our backs in, but it never makes me feel good when they start frying y'all up or me. It's okay. It's it, okay. Hurts. it hurts sometimes. Mm. Yeah. How's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? How's your personal life? Huh? How's your private life? Your work life? How's your spirit? How's your text inbox? Your DMs? The request part two? How's your fridge looking? Is it empty in there? When you go downstairs for a late night snack, is it nothing good? Ran out of Pringles, chocolates, Kit Kats, sour powers? Uh, how we feeling? Uh, shout out to everybody out there using one ply toilet tissue. <laughs> shout out to y'all. Nice. Oh, nah. nah, they out there still. Nah, they out there still. Hand ripped right through. Now you now you got the thing of a chicken. Now you got doo -doo Now you got the thing on your fingers. <laughs> the thing of a chicken. Now you got the thing on your fingers. Shout out to y'all, nice, man. Nice. Come on. People listening from all different walks of life. Mm -mm. Uh, how y'all doing? Come on. Talk good, to me. Good, good. What you guys do with your weekend? Amazing, bro. Holiday weekend. Oh, Any big shit, plans? It was. It was. It was. It was. You forgot MLK. Y'all niggas MLK are just Day. in your own universes, huh? Yeah. No, yeah. You don't even acknowledge what, what MLK. You, what what you do is, we know Jonathan the Majors threw a party that day, you Did know. He? Well, no, I'm just being sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no way he been maybe. showing our Coretta. You know I work, dog. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I get to it. Yeah, we got such a great show lined up for y'all today, <laughs> man. A doozy. <laughs> A doozy. We can get to it. If we all watched in real life, we shouldn't let y'all know about it so readily. I was true. just watching football all weekend, so that, that was the extent of my excitement. And it wasn't very exciting because we lost. But we'll get to that later. Same, too. I mean, And I was having a little, a little tip with my girl. I feel good to do that when the football is on. Oh, that's easy. Oh, man. That's, easy that's the best time to do it. That's an easy Ooh. fight. Oh, you want to fight now? <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you ain't going to call. It's three days of football now. Exactly. <laughs> Once they flex that game on Monday, yeah. oh, shit. And Valentine's Day next month, how long you want to play it? I got 20 days in me. <laughs> who who started the fight? Who going to fold first? I was wrong. Mm. Oh, did wait, she, how long she did it take you to admit it? She can't it. wait for Valentine's Day then. I was wrong. Okay. Then she uh, can't wait? Oh, no, I didn't admit it. Oh, okay. Oh, All no. right. You crazy? Okay. I go down. Okay. <laughs> I go down. You ain't just doing that. We're going to give it a few days I first. I go down? What does yeah. that mean? I, I go down with a fight. <laughs> I pick all the other options first. Get defensive, get loud, <laughs> run. <laughs> reverse card. Yeah. I'm sure he threw a I couple reverse cards. Yeah. Everything else first. I try to flip it card is usually the one. Yeah, I do that. Yeah. One, that, one, that one normally I do that. Works. I tried it. I tried Damn. it. Oh, you really? Yeah, you, I tried you, it You was dead to rights. If you could, yeah, that yeah, yeah, I, it, it was wrong. It was wrong. But none of it worked. It was wrong. Oh, so she happy for Valentine's Day coming up there. Oh, yeah. Because this is like your apology. She listens yeah. to the pause, so she know you're going to no, acknowledge it. We, we good. We good. Oh, good? Okay, I, good. I ain't keen on home. Use the airwaves to make sure my shit is straight at home. We good. Shout out to you. Yeah. Okay. Hey, shout out to Keno. <laughs> don't want man Keno under the bus. Go ahead. Yeah. And shout out to Keno. And I don't want to throw nobody under the bus in 2024. <laughs> oh, stop it, I'm man. taking the under parts. I tell you, I'm yeah, not doing yeah, it. for sure. I'm not doing it. We, yeah. are, we are so zen-like. Nigga might have upgraded to a train. <laughs> Left the buses home. No, nah, nah, I'm, ta I'm taking a page out of Big Itch book. Oh, thank you. I told you, you're an inspiration for me, dog. OG, you, you are OG. That's OG. Like you, an important. Got you. Right. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, dog. What we got? Wherever y'all want to start. A lot of <laughs> shit happened. This Molson Drake shit was hilarious. That was the highlight of my weekend. <laughs> I'll be completely honest with you. I watched that interview and then I got real high. Went to the store, hungry, and started thinking about the song at the grocery the store, which you is went, a terrible. Wait, did you go, wait, did no, you go to Target? You didn't no, go to Target. no, I didn't okay. go to Target. There's, there's no Target right by me. So okay. I went to the grocery store, high and hungry, which is just worst shit the ever. worst idea. idea ever. But as soon as I walked in, you saw. <laughs> This store has everything. <laughs> Anything you need. And it was so many so skews. So many in skews. Here. <laughs> oh, man. Is Drake hip hop? <laughs> Drake is pop to me. In the sense, like, if I was in Target in Houston and I heard a Drake song, it feels like a lot of his music is compatible with. Shopping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Commercial. 
New Joe Biden. Or, or it's, you know, shopping with an edge in certain instances. Fair. I like Drake's music, but I understand exactly what you're saying. Of course. I mean, I, it's, I, I It's get commercial, it. entertaining, fun, it's, good, it's, formulaic it's, music. It's, it's likable. It's likable. Likable music, it's like, yeah. It's likable. It's likable. Your most is hilarious. Um, hilarious. What is it? You know, I'm gonna leave you alone. We're gonna move. There we go. She, get, she gave him out. She did. She gave him out. But at this point, he's laughing so uncontrollably. Many, so many products. <laughs> so many no. skews. So many skews. Look at all these skews. <laughs> so much merchandising. So oh, many barcodes. I love this mall. <laughs> look at this place. I mean, look at this place. They have everything. Everything's here. Everything Yo. here. Oh. Great. This is a new Drake. You hear it? It's great. <laughs> new Joe Biden. Okay. What happens when this thing collapses? Uh oh. What happens? Oh, now he's getting his capitalism yeah. bag. Uh -oh. Columns start buckling. When it Are all we falls not down. Early stage of that at this present hour. Are we seeing like the collapse of the empire? Buying and selling. Where's the message that I can use? Right. You know, what's in it for your audience apart from like banging the pom poms? Like, like is Drake hip hop? That's hilarious. That shit was great. That's hilarious. Yo. New Joe Biden. Salute and it's to hate. creative hate, man. I'm about to say, and it's hate. It's hate, but it's hilarious hate. So that's a win for me. As a consumer of, of content, I love that 2024 is about finding creative ways to hate. Why do you guys classify Sup that as hate? hate? Step on my shit. Go ahead. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, like, please go. No, 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 go. <laughs> Stepped right on him with I, the time I, after time. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I think I'm getting the flow of today. <laughs> what are you ask? Go ahead, Sammy. I don't no. even remember what I was saying. Please. I know. I was literally asking a question because, I mean, like, you said it. You said it. Mm -hmm. And then you were saying it. Saying what? That it's hate. And yeah. I just, oh, it's hate. It's yeah. hate, man. It's, it's definitely hate. Criticizing and making fun. Drake is hip hop and this is hate. Yeah. yeah. But I'm with I'm with incentivized hate. I'm I'm with incentivized hate. Common is Moses man. Mm -hmm. What else needs to be said? Got it. I saw to, also to some that. screenshots of an Instagram post or something where he said something about where he said something, something slick about, about most death. death. I'm not trying to impress most deaf or Mo some shit along those lines. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you and all your most deaf fans. That's what it. Uh, you and all your you, the head of the most deaf fan club. Yeah, got yeah, some it. Shit like that. Yeah. He does that. We takes these digs at like the lyrical miracle guys, mm. but he came up on the lyrical miracle guys. So I mean, it's like a. I can't say what it is because I'll be attacked for the next month. Mm. But you see where I'm going with that. So this is incentivized mm. take. Got it. It is. Yeah. You got the whole club fucking singing along to stay scheming. That was my favorite New Year's Eve record this year. <laughs> mm -hmm. The whole club singing word for word. How what how you think I'm supposed to respond if you start asking me about Drake and you did that to my man Com? Mm. That's one. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. Two, uh, and this part I guess you had to be outside for Raucous was the antithesis antithesis of everything that was happening creatively in music. Like the whole... Commercially in music. Yeah, commercially. Commercial. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Not creative. Like Raucous was the... Well, creatively too. They, Raucous was like an embodiment of like the roots, what they do. Like they was doing... They wasn't trying to be y'all. Mm -hmm. They was trying mm -hmm. to say They're something. They were anti. It was yeah. anti, yeah. Yeah, that's what the whole shit was built on. So if you listen to this and understand the end part of what he's saying, I mean, it's true to form mm -hmm. for him. Go mm -hmm. cool. on. Now, I also don't believe that he said anything wrong. I don't take anything that he said as a diss. Drake is that. Mm -hmm. The diss part comes because you know how niggas feel about people that they think are that. Mm -hmm. Tonality. The people that come from, no, not even the tonality. You know how, to, how a lot of the MCs feel about this. DMX expressed it. He's expressed. People have yeah. expressed this Mad before, people, yeah. and Drake has always responded. It's never. He's never felt good about that. It's hate. It's hate. It's hate. But it's good. It's hate. Sarcasm. It's good hate. Yeah. It's good hate. I, I, that was the context and it, that I was and it, saying. And it makes sense. <clears throat> and and it could be truth in the hate. There could oh, be the truth best in hate the hate. Has truth in it. You can't say you ain't hip hop though. 
Facts. I didn't say oh, that. Oh, no, I'm saying he did. He didn't say it either, really. He said, he said he's, pop. he's pop. But he's, he didn't say whether he was or was not hip hop. But he acknowledged they it. They asked him a he, direct question. Yeah. And he didn't answer it. Yeah. He made that's jokes. True. He deflected. He did. And he answered he, the question and, with, with by deflection. answering something de- completely different. Even that deflection was hate. If I say, if yo, I say yo, are you hip hop? No, if I say it's ice, it's ice black and you say ice is white. You answered it. So when she said, is Drake hip hop? No, that's different. He said Drake's pop. But pop can, hip hop can exist in pop and pop can exist in hip hop. True. And does. Yeah. It does. I agree. So it was, it was an indirect <sighs> answer. He didn't directly say, no, he is not hip hop. Gotcha. He was just saying, you're a different type of hip hop. That's kind of what he was getting at. But it ain't even so, so deep for me. A lot of the, a lot of these niggas that's like, like that. MCs, mm-hmm. Jay just don't fuck with y'all. But do you think it comes from a place of... A um, lot of the MC dudes look at a lot. They can they could, they could do what you do so they could just see through some of the shit that mm-hmm. other people can't see I think through. They and, they, put, and they think that shit is goofy. They t- Yo, they think y'all are goofs. I think they it's look okay. at it. They're doing it for different reasons. That's why. A lot of the, the hip-hop, like those types, are doing this for the love of the sport, the love of the game. The arts. I want art, the art. I want to be the best. And a lot of these it's other niggas are trying to get rich. It's and they want to be the best at something totally in, different. In my opinion, how I receive this, it's a little deeper than the competitive aspect of MCing. No, 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 no. These, no that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, like a most deaf in them, when they rap, they are MCs. Mm-hmm. And they're looking at anybody that's not rapping to try to be the best MC exactly. as something different. I think it is deeper than that, too. Though. What I'm saying to you, I received that. Deeper than that is the foundation of emceeing and why it began. Yes. And that's what I think they focus on. So when he gets to his consumerism point, and I don't even know if he was, when he talked about the pillars falling, and it don't matter because it still applies, I don't know if he's talking music business or the world. I think he means all of it. But they they both, both. they both, consumers. They both apply. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It applies to both. So when he started talking about that type of hip hop, like what y'all, what that is, what he's asking is, what are you going to do when the purge comes? Like, who's going to do what? You niggas that's just making slaps for to dance and uh, for whatever self-serving shit you got going on. Cool. But when the real shit come, who's going to say something? Who's going to take action? Who's going to protest? Who's going to not take the money? Who's going to try to build something for the betterment of the people after us? That's what I received from what he was saying. The slaps is cool. But then what? Mm. Mm-hmm. If my goal- And not enough musicians take that. He's speaking, take, take, take yeah. that He's speaking from the standpoint of like, like, a, his, like a purist kind of mentality. Yes. But I think, I think, this is my opinion. I think that we all turn out to... We all initially start as purists. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I think even... Well, I don't know if I agree with well, that. Not everybody. Not today. Especially not today. Not today. Yeah. Not today. You're right. But I would say that when Drake started off in hip-hop, I he think was. Drake was a he lyricist. Was. He was. He was rapping he over was. Cool. Dilla Beats and Look, Absolutely. Little Brother Look. shit. So now when I become successful and I transcend this one demo and I start reaching the masses... I'm trying to appeal to all of my fans, not just this one small pocket of fans where I started out. I evolved. Mm-hmm. What Hope said, truthfully, I want to rhyme like common sense, but I did five mil and I ain't been rhyming common like common sense. sense. I hate Hove being introduced to this because True. Hove is the antithesis of this. I disagree. I totally disagree with that. Hove at every turn outside of music shows you who he is by how he shows up for other entertainers, oh, no, no, other rappers, his philanthropy. Oh, no, I was just talking about music. Yeah. Oh, no, was just music. And I was, I was even in the Because music, even though. that, he got to the music, it took him to another point that allowed him to now do these things. He went commercial too. I'm just Yeah, saying. but even in the music, even on the albums he went commercial, volume one and volume two specifically, he still had Preem and Mark the 45 King and Eric Sermon and people like that producing and making hip hop records on records that had commercial records. And his Alicia Keys record was his first record to crack uh number one. So I mean Hard Knock Life ain't go number one? No. Really? Well we have to check that. But I know when Empire State came out they said mm-hmm. this is his first number one record. Mm-hmm. Single, I'm sure, yeah. But Hard Knock Life was a single. But another thing, back back to the most deaf in the purest I don't know if Hove is even accepted mainstream. I'm sorry, Ice, but off of what you were saying, I'm sorry, I'm stepping on your shit. I don't (laughs) even know how accepted Hove is in the mainstream without Marion B. That's possible. 
That's a good point. I agree. But, yeah. go, but go ahead. That's you, a great you know, point. No, I'm saying back, saying back to the, the, the purists, um, those like the most that speaking on what hip hop was built on and everything, the part that they get stuck there. Sure. A lot of people, mm. <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry, y'all. A lot of people forget the part where hip hop can evolve. Yeah, when y'all started hip hop, it was in the park. Empire State of Mind was, in fact, his first number one. Hip hop is a global thing now. It ain't just in the park no more. So it's, it's people that ain't never been where hip hop started in those type of environments. They can't relate to that. They've never been there, but they are a part of hip hop because they it, it's reached way beyond where it started. True. At no point am I saying Drake is not hip hop. No, 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 no. I'm just saying I'm, I'm to the, pe saying that, to the people the that yeah, he can only focus on where it started True. and the element of in the beginning mm -hmm. is to ignore the evolution of what hip hop is today. Thousand percent. That's what I'm talking about. And a lot of people get stuck in that particular mindset where it's this is where it came from. This is okay, cool. That's where it came from. But we talking about where it's at now. That's true. I don't. It can't I, stay there to get here today. That may be valid, but I don't think that is the basis of of uh, Moses' argument. I'm mm -hmm. saying a lot of those purists tend to it, once that once somebody has, gets too hold on, let me has, finish real fast. Once any of these acts that become super successful on the commercial side and cross over to pop mm -hmm. slash hip hop, which is what you got to do to get to that level, mm -hmm. uh -huh. those purists always tend Start to paint that, that same second, argument at that them. Is true. Every single time, it's like you're a sellout. You did this. You, hip hop ain't that. Well, that, guess what? It is. Now. That's a myth. It ha it's, that's, it's happened. That's a myth because you've never heard them do that to Kendrick. You have not heard one OG do that to Kendrick Lamar. There's a reason for that. You have not heard one OG outside of Nas when J. Cole let Nas down. You've not heard one MC make any claim like this against them. There's a reason for that. Is Kendrick doing number one numbers and crossover pop numbers like Drake? No. I'm not checking. No, no he's not. not. I'll answer the question not for you. Level, he's not, not to that level. I'm talking about that level. Well, I don't think anybody's doing numbers like Drake. So what so happens is a, to get to ball. that level, you have to Adjust expand and outside of just hip hop. You have yeah. to appeal he's to done that. audience. Yeah, so it makes true. him the easy target to shoot at every time because none of y'all have done it. That's true. And I, I think that's some jealousy shit. That's a scapegoat. This is a that, fact. That, that escapes the point of who's going to do what when it comes down to it. Kendrick. To answer and, your and, question. And there that, you go. And that, we got people to do that, that. And that is why I think Kendrick skips those those uh skips those accusations. It's two part. It's because of that. And like I said, we've he's seen not these, doing that. We've seen these niggas do it. We've seen Cole get up and go to wherever the thick of it is where they marching yes. after black people get murdered mm -hmm. and walk amongst the people. We've yeah. seen, we've seen it. it. Yes. 100 percent I think that is But Cole hasn't reached commercial success like Drake. Nobody has. Yeah. But that's what his point is. I agree with you. Drake starts at a purist. But at some point, back to the Cat Williams interview, you get an opportunity to either walk in this room right here mm -hmm. or not. not. And, and that, that is what I hear from him. So when they start talking about the war over there between them and them and why he's not saying nothing, that's what, he, that's what he's getting to. If you're going to skip the basis and foundation and all the elements of hip hop, cool. But just know there is a line drawn between y'all that do that and the MCs that do that. Oh, and I think and it's not just based on sales and finances. I think the person that knows it's based on having spine and, a, and I, balls. I, 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 think, <laughs> I think the person that gets to that line and makes the decision to walk over there mm -hmm. sleeps well over there. They fine with that. Drake mattress is expensive. I know. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> like, ain't nobody. He like, don't. He you don't. It's not he, a knock to he him. He don't to lose say. sleep until one of the niggas like this highlight this, and every time they do, he tuck his tail. Every time somebody hit him hard, gut punch, any one of the MCs, he tucks his tail. Tuck his tail as in what? Because he replied the most. He replied. You thought that was like a tail tucking kind of response? Do? Jump on a record? Well, I mean, what the? What he probably gonna do that too. What do you reply? Or we're in the, we're, we're, and we're I'm not, the, I'm not, we're I'm the not worried about but look, the clap. And we're, and we're in the today where nowadays, if, so, if I hear or read something about me, I have to reply today immediately. That's what they got the black screen for. That's what they got the Instagram yeah, for. Yeah, but the, this all, ain't, this all, all, the all that shit is cool, but the reply is internal. Mm. Too many mm, niggas change. focused on fucking clips and reels and what we saying to Instagram commenters. The reply to what Mos is saying is done inside of you. When you go to bed at night, just the voice that you hear alone, nobody even got to know. That's the reply. Who cares what he got to say publicly about this? He's, a, he's him already. 
pop star, rapper, whatever you want to call it, that path is carved. Most is also him now in the path that he carved. Correct. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. True. Which is why his reply was, uh, Drake's reply was like, eh. Because when you're could- dealing with one of them who just is solid in the spine, mm-hmm. it's only but so much you could say. It wasn't, have, the, the reply wasn't antagonistic. It was like. It, you can't antagonize peaceful. most death. Yeah. You can't. I have a question. Yeah. He don't give a fuck about none of this shit. You death can't do it. He does not. I have a question. Do you think that, you know, as times change, the big artists, they are not humanitarians anymore? Because, you know, back in the days when Michael was big and all of they was outside. Mm. They was fighting for humanity. Mm. All the rock stars or even some of the hip hop stars in the early days, they was on the front lines. So do you think it's today the times has changed that people don't want to take on that. Yes, I think that the yeah. people Wait, are making no. too much money. Absolutely, to, it's way to too much money. But Michael was making a lot of money singing he Heal the World and, and Walk With Them Niggas. And Michael Jackson was different, though. And I, but well, I also well, don't think on. he was making Drake money, to be clear. What? You said what? Drake is like a multi-billionaire. I'm not sure that Mike hit that status. I could be wrong. Mike, I could be wrong. Michael Jackson was making the equivalent to Drake money. Really? Maybe, Probably, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Like 80s and 2020. It's 40 years different, so with inflation and all yeah, that. Yeah, okay, shit. maybe so. Michael maybe Jackson so. was him. No, no quite. No, Listen, I'm, saying, I'm not. He was, I'm saying, I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying that the music business is shitty and he was probably getting bad splits because no, but he's been also, signed since but he was also his outside. No, but wait, see, also the, 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 his outside like yeah. deals and shit like that, like the catalogs that he owned and stuff like that. So like that yeah. added I don't want y'all well. to get caught gotcha. on this point because gotcha. there's deeper shit at play here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love y'all Michael Jackson example, especially in what we're talking about right now. Great example. Michael Jackson is the is the is the person to kick in the door. Yes, sure. Mm-hmm. To make dynamic changes for across every- the board for everybody, for everyone. Mm-hmm. For everyone. Sure. And after him, we have Rick James, Prince, mm. Whitney, Luther, and fucking uh, Lionel Richie mm. to change the rest of music after them is what I think most is saying. To your point, True. if the game is full of Yassins, mm-hmm. we probably have some changes in how contracts are, are formed, mm-hmm. uh, artist rights. I agree. All across the board, from record sales to fucking publishing to touring to licensing to syncing. I think they both need it. I think they're both well, that Well, that's why... It's it's, it's it's better to do this. Like, it's no point in trying to diss Drake because he's a better asset than he is a foe. True. True. I mm. think they're both needed because I think you need the Drakes to just show how valuable we are. I think you need the, the Drakes to show how powerful we can potentially be. If you only have the Moses, then they're looking at you like, yo, dog, you not worth I don't have to do what you know what I mean? You not like the Drake's coming out it's being more worth, juice. It's you know the problem though? You need you need yeah, but you need a most team. You need a, a Drake. Right. You need you need a most to be able to show that you can do it without the the, the, the machine, system. the yeah. system. Mm. That's what you need. Because now what'll happen is you get a bunch of Moses and then you look at the Drake's and say, Yeah, but getting down with the machine gets you this. Yeah. And a lot of people are going to choose that path because yeah. they're going to say, I want to walk that way. Yes. Yeah, but the machine version Fixed of most quick. would be Kanye. So you could still kind of offspring your way to that stratosphere by your backbone. That's a great point. But one could argue that pre pre last four or five years Kanye, mm-hmm. you could say he was a draker. Mm. Who? No. Who? To yeah. me, Kanye who? was no. So. Pre, pre, like in, in in a political way, like most is t- talking about polit- politics. He's uh-huh. not really talking about music. Mm-hmm. So p- before Kanye's last four years, four or five years, oh, he went no. on MTV and said George Bush don't care about black people. And he was on the front line, and, and he also made a bunch of records. Yes, kind of um, saying that same shit. Mm-hmm. Remember that issue? Mm-hmm. He did. Okay. I think when when your public life starts to not reflect the shit that's in your music, mm-hmm. now what? Then people start to look Kanye's at you like in, a, Kanye's in Target. Kanye has transcended. Gap, all tra- types of that's shit. What I'm, yeah. No, I'm saying so. Kanye's music has transcended this little one pocket of hip hop yes. in the Bronx. He's in Target. He's in Foot Locker. He's more music too. Yeah, yes. but I think to Joe's point earlier about. 
what you do with it, Kanye yes. has kind of always stood on yes. certain principles yes. in yeah. terms yeah. of yeah. politics, in terms of yes. a View, bunch of shit. Anything, yeah. He speaks his mind. Oh, he, he does. Agreed. I would agree with that. He, he speaks his mind, but you can't say he's on... Yeah, do you, it's it's do relative. You, so like Joe said, like with Drake, it's, it's going to be internal. No, do you, go ahead. Okay. Do, do you think that if he does speak out or take a stance, that it will affect him in any way? Yes, absolutely. You are aligned with too many brands. You are aligned with. You can't. Too many. You I don't, can't th- I don't think you don't even have your own voice. I, I think that he's overthinking it. I think that he may it's think possible. it. It, may, he, it's, it would affect him. I think that he'll come to a point, and my hopefully he'll come to a point where he realizes that LeBron, mm. LeBron is bigger than the NBA. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So LeBron could literally get on TV and say anything he wants to say, and the NBA can do absolutely nothing about it. True. And it has. And has. And has. And has. So I think that Drake may not understand that he can do the same thing. That is true. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. Corey said yeah. he's not American, which is a, that's a, good point. Is a valid point. That's, that's a great point. That's a good point. That's a good point. Huh? So I, I think that we just don't necessarily know sometimes what these people are doing. Drake might be giving millions and millions and millions of dollars true. to that's people true. in Canada and just don't want the props. Drake might be helping whoever we, we don't know. You get what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. nowadays, everybody is not the public Philanthropist. But sometimes it's good to see it though. It's motivational yeah, to see it. That. Sometimes when, when you, showing you, that stance and you don't know, you, you leave the, the room yeah. for the great. I agree with that. Just, yeah. And, you, and yeah. you inspire people under you to do yes, the same. Yes, yes, of I course. Yes, I agree with that. I, I, he could be, you know, that like Jay Z and Beyonce, you're gonna be doing a bunch of shit. And if somebody don't tell, yeah, yeah. you Jeez, they yeah. never gonna say a word. Mm-hmm. They, they be doing mad that shit. Picked yeah, up at like protests, other paying people for lawyer fees. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, shit. but but Jay's still on yeah, the front line with help. See, some yeah. people see through some of that shit though. I, I mean, that's, that's true. That's exactly could, the point could. that I was trying to make early about seeing through some shit. People in that ballpark of most can see when someone is attempting to appeal to anyone in the world. Mm-hmm. So if you were doing those things, those people would assume that they would be front-facing. Mm. So if they're not, you leave the gray area, you leave the room for, for those people to yeah, say, to criticize. you're not doing a, fuck, you're not doing a fucking thing. Okay. And not that, I, that I'm saying he has to, mm-hmm. but it is highlighted that when it's your turn to stand next to Mike Myers and address the president on a Fox broadcast that would say something where there's a script, what are you going to do? Go, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's just all I'm getting from, from the most of And especially it. today, what are you going after to what do? we saw with Kanye, I don't know if a lot of people will do that. I don't know if, if Kanye do didn't have a, 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 some mental health shit going on, then he may see different results. It's true. Yeah. Now, if Kanye don't have those same alleged mental health things, do you think he goes out on a limb that far left? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's been doing it. It's in the DNA of some people. When his mom was alive, he was... No, it's definitely in the DNA of some people. Yo, but let's take it on a smaller level. Let's take it it to a a nigga, a hood level. Okay. Don't it feel good when you out to know that if the fight break out, the people that you with will swing? A a thousand. Yes. In the simplest of nigga terms. Mm Mm-hmm. Stay there. But when you start alienating them niggas, that looks different. Expound. So the relationships that you... I'm, I'm, let me reverse that. The relationships that you build with your niggas come from the park. Mm-hmm. We play basketball in the park. Nigga, you had 85 cent. I had 60 cent. A bunch the two of us, we're going to get two quarter juices, a big bag of potato chips, and a Snickers. And we're going to split that. We're going to bust that down. You got... We're going to get the turkey and cheese, cut it in half, cut the slice of pizza in half with a two liter soda. All of that shit comes from uh, uh, from the knee high up. When you start talking about people like Kanye West, we don't necessarily have that sandbox relationship. Mm-hmm. So you don't really have no niggas going to the club with you. That's going to swing. I don't give a fuck what your principles are. We haven't built that up. So that's why he's standing on his own over there. He's not looking for camaraderie, though. He never has been. Like, he looks Says at who? him... He looks at himself as a leader. Who are you uh, talking about right now? Kanye. Kanye. Yeah. A thousand Absolutely. percent. He is never, he's not looking for anybody to join his cause. He doesn't give a fuck if you do or if you don't. He is doing what he wants to do. That, that's just him. I mm-hmm. think that's four years, Kanye. I think the older Kanye pre four years was starving for validation from the outside. Starving. In some, in some aspects, yeah. I agree. Starving. In, in, some, in some aspects, I agree. But at the same time, in a lot of aspects, he was 
like she said, a, a trailblazer, leader. A and, trailblazer. Mm-hmm. Album yeah. one. Album one. Trailblazer. Yeah, no question. But I think that Kanye had pivoted into some other shit. He did. He did around the, I guess we would put it around the Kim era. Started. And success does that. It's a not lot a Kanye of, talk True. About no, I'm yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. no, success does that. Even with Drake. I think we said Drake started, started off spitting off that shit. Mm-hmm. But once your audience grows, now you have other fans that you have to. You I can't just. You can't do, say, yo, just, the fan that was down from the hood is more valuable potentially than the fan in Australia. Bro, leave it on Drake. We just saw, you know. What is it? With every album that come out, we just want to hear rapping. We just want to hear rapping. I'm not even talking about the messages or nothing like that. We want to hear rapping Drake. He does the Scary Hours uh, 3 deluxe yeah. version. And them, re- them records ain't hit like, like a normal Drake project. would. None of them did. They didn't chart properly. It, it didn't, he didn't see the reaction. And it's like, all right, I gave it to y'all. And now look, I gave you six straight rapping joints. I, you, don't look at me. I, I think this is a crock of shit. I, you think ice ice? I I have continuously stated, not ice, but no, his this, point. This, yeah, because my response is oh, that whole Drake shit that that went on back then. Who cares about the music? My point wasn't music based. My point was dictate. Take your power, take your influence, take your money, take your love for this shit, and do something, and dictate. And, I, th- I think that the problem, and what he did, hold oh, up real ahead, quick, and what he did was great point. The same thing he always does. Great point. Get reactive. He did. So we say it's no rapping. Now you rapping. Too powerful for that. Sure. I agree with that. And I, I, I disagree for a different reason. I think that when he did the uh, rapping only album, he did it in a way that, of course, that wasn't going to be commercially successful. Some of our favorite rap songs of all time with elite level rapping were still formulated like a pop song. There was still a hook and a you know something mm-hmm. happening these records he just rapped straight he through used for to do it he, but he used to do that though yeah. he used I'm to saying, do it it's, unfair. it's, it's it unfair to say that the scary hours didn't work because he was rapping well that's not true it didn't no, no. work because there was no there was nothing to grab onto except for to say oh he rapped well he rushed, yeah. some, he rushed some dope raps over some dope beats and the marriage wasn't yeah. it was dope but it wasn't it's not gonna sell because there was no hooks there was it no, wasn't there was, started from the bottom yeah exactly <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't any Rap song, it was yeah. just rapping. Gotcha. It was I'm rapping to shut you niggas up like me who say ain't enough rapping. Yeah, but you yeah. missing the deeper points that niggas I want you want to dictate. That dictate part. point is, is profound. Yeah. But again, I that dictate again. Point is I go dictate. Okay, cool. Let me go do the the Ibiza album as y'all. <laughs> That's still not him dictating. How is that? Yeah. I am I am one of the big, if not the biggest. Still not him dictating. I'm gonna step way out on the ledge. At every over turn. Here and go That's appealing. Different. At every turn. Mm. You know that the fuck dog dog. I'm you not, you not. you are you. You know what the world sound is. So when you go somewhere and hear this shit pop, when you go to Ibiza and hear what's going on and bring it back over here, it's not you dictating. Sure. When you go to London and hear what's going on over here and now bring it back and you pop it. When you go to Jamaica and do that, we've seen them do it. So mm-hmm. it's not, it's still just not dictating. Sure. Please don't take this as a Drake rant. I'm it's off not. of that for 2024. You're right. But I agree with that. that's yeah. only the, Maybe it's I'm more- saying dictate. Most is saying, what are you going to do? Well, I think we have the answer. What I've been doing, I've been showing you for, since I've become successful. What I've been doing, what, what I'm gonna do. What do y'all think of, of Drake's response? I, I didn't see it. see it. He posted a Method Man clip. Uh, got it. Got it. He posted it was, a Method Man clip of him talking about what hip hop is. It, yeah, the, and it's, his the, it's the clothes, was, it's the culture, yeah. it's the, you know all that shit. But his caption was, uh, "What did what, Umi what say?" Did Umi say? Re- referencing Umi says, of mm-hmm. course. Mm-hmm. Uh, he says, don't switch up now. Let me shine my light on the world. We talk, we walk, break dancing, rhymes, stage up. Listen, I thought that his text was more prevalent than the Method Man uh, overdub. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The text of if you just know if you know Umi says, mm-hmm. which I know Drake knows it because Drake it is or was that purist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then yeah, what a way to put a reverse card down and say, listen, dog, you this you said this yourself. So why why am I not allowed to shine my light on the world in the manner that I see fit? I agree. I think just when you become we could move forward, but I just think when you become that big, yo, it's a real hard thing to just keep coming out with new shit. Like that dictatorship that you're saying, it's very few niggas that just keep 
coming with something fresh, Pushing something them, new, and just making the culture shift wherever they go. You get what I'm saying? It's very few people. But that he did have that done for it. a long time. He did. So I just think that it's hard, yo. I just think he, I think he's damned if he do and he damned if he don't. He almost. is. Maybe. That's when you reach that level. That's Maybe. exactly what happened. I think yeah. that's what it is. Maybe. For sure. And creatively, he tried to do, do some shit. Some niggas gonna kill him. Mm. Some niggas gonna like it. That's life. It, yeah. That's I just life. think, yeah. and when you it's get life. to that, that he's at the pinnacle by itself. For sure. Mm-hmm. I just think that he, he damned if he do and he's damned if he don't. Unfortunately. Well, fortunately for him, he a billionaire. I want to see this whole interview. I was cracking up. I just, I was here for the laughs. I, you know what I mean? Like, that shit was funny. That's a funny way to diss someone. And most is intelligent. He witty. Yeah. Nigga compared Drake to the Roman Empire. Like, yo, you can't. <laughs> yeah, I want to, I want to play some of these, like, some on, of these other clips oh, because I think he was talking just... about America too. He was. This becomes another kind of Unilever product. Consumer packaged good. A consumer. Package good. CPG, mm. yeah. A CPG or or the soundtrack to to consumption, mm. the exercise of consumption, which fills and solves nothing, <laughs> because it's designed to do that. It's designed to leave you feeling emptier than when you began, and that is just the facts. Now, if you if somebody engages in that and they get a big mansion and a tiger and you know and falcons as a result and it's like okay so what that's not the measure of anybody valuable dog no I mean, boss. he don't leave much room for the confusion. Mm-hmm. Drake fans, this wasn't the time for y'all to reply with the chart-topping success. Yeah. yeah no. This conversation is not rooted in that if you're listening to him. He goes on. You know, mm-hmm. we've never all we've never had floor seats to this. You know, the situation in the Congo is dire. The situation in Sudan is gross. You know, like this thing of like. Uh, normalizing this type of barbarity and making children subject to it. And then when you when you read the record of history, how like this is par for the course, you know, this is par for the course for what they do. What is known as the United States of America is a s- s- colonial settler project, almost like inherently the Massachusetts Bay Colony, all of these, uh, uh, com- th- these were corporate concerns that were charged, smoking this chartered, shit. funded to conquer the new world. Yeah, which Ma- manifest destiny. Already been there. I'm so and glad she understood it all of that. Word. The sake of the crown, the cross, the king, mm. and so and so and so and so and so and so. And they paved over it and built the parking lot and put a mall on top, and everybody just blithely goes their way. Mm. He took his now, deep that's example been working for deeper with the mall. Some time mm-hmm. now, and working is a very loosely <laughs> defined uh, term. Mm-hmm. Nonetheless, that's the king, but what's the crown to the clouds? Oh, come mm-hmm. on, man. Yeah, you got to leave Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yo, come on, come on. Yo, come on, come on. Yo, come come on. Yo, <laughs> Kingdoms coming. You know, as the Hopi chief said famously in one of, his, uh, one of his exchanges, he said, we were told that America was a thing that we would see come and go. Mm. So this idea of permanence uh, 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 via brute force is just not <laughs> historically supported. And if you doubt it, well, then you go to any museum of antiquity and see what all of the thug in Gets gotcha. the thugs. Mm. It comes to an end. It, to an it end. does. And a, a messy end, and it's never to their benefit. So I, I guess everybody who sells dope is like, nah, I see, but what I'm going to do. No, no, it's like, okay, no, 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 well, you know, bad. the dope game is cursed, and so is the dope. Mm-hmm. Mm. So good luck with that. Now, there's, there's people who will oppose at every level. There are people who are in the active, like, hand-to-hand struggle and that's a, a each one is called for what they are called for but for people that are not called to actually having to fight in that way then support the advancement of humanity mm. and the advancement of the 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 cosmic situation that every human being is to destroy it and to uh to rob it of 
I think you get his juice. Vitality, mm. yeah. but to try to steal his joy, things. even to attempt to do it, is 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 a is a grave disorder. They will be punished, and the, the reckoning is not already not not, not only coming; it is here it's from here. ends that the that the oppressor does not yet perceive, and mm-hmm. they're the last ones to know. Mm. Mm-hmm. And by the time that they realize it, it's already too late. So. I know it's heartbreaking. You should be heartbroken. That means your heart is working. Mm-hmm. You're heartbroken and it's distressing. That means that you are you are sane. You are a functioning individual. If you are uncomfortable and you're maladjusted to a sick society, it means that you are healthy. I am uh, mourning for all of us, but also I'm you know I I didn't get bombed today, mm-hmm. right? Uh, literally, but figuratively. We're all getting carpet bombed. Mm-hmm. God damn. Even was... the carpet bombers. Surprise. Yo, oh, shit. So. Surprise they let him back in. That's the facts. Right. Nonetheless, <laughs> who will remain? He talking. And I'm not just talking about in flesh and blood, but in spirit. Who will remain? Bruh. 20 and 50 years from now, what will people say? Of the people of Gaza or Philistine mm. Mm. that they are not saying today, or that they say with bated breath, Damn. or that they are afraid to say, or let alone what people say. What do the angels say? All right, man. Yeah. All right, yo. About what we do. Well, mm. I believe that um, I believe that God is not interested in our misery. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a challenging time. They think he was sure. talking about me. Yeah, they, they got to see. Yeah. I want to rewind a lot of that shit yeah. we just talked about. He was, there wasn't no hate. Even though it's, it sometimes feels very mm-hmm. attractive that, and sensible. To, I'm cutting them off. Yeah, I'm cutting them off. Yeah, yeah, I'm cutting them off. This is, I, that if was, you that haven't was seen a, the interview... I'm looking for that interview. Yeah, exactly. That was basically that wasn't hate at all. What he was doing, Drake. He wasn't even. He, he, wasn't even he that, was, that is diminishing that shit way too much <laughs> to call no, it. To, yeah, yeah no, like I don't want to take the scapegoat with the way, easy he went way view because we dealing with minds that it's not. They, these are different minds. Yeah. Different. this is why people like most don't do interviews, don't speak often, only mm-hmm. speak to certain people. They. It's different. This yeah. was kind of like a continuation. He just a few weeks ago he had a diatribe on like his live or something like that where he was talking about um, the you know conflict happening in the Middle East right now with um, mm-hmm. you know uh, in Gaza and he was basically saying like if you do not use you know your platform to speak up we are not of the same ilk i don't fuck with you you know what i'm saying we cannot witness what we are witnessing we are witnessing a genocide we can't witness the terrors that we're that we're um seeing and still act like we are asleep at the wheel you know what i'm saying so mm. this sounds like it was a continuation it of was. that i would love to ask him because i hear a lot of that people say oh you speak up say something say mm-hmm. something mm-hmm. the problem that personally that i've been having is when you try to look to see what's going on, it's so much misinformation and oh. you don't really know what the hell is going on. So and then if somebody comes out and says, yo, everybody should stop killing each other, that's a problematic statement today. Mm-hmm. So it's like most people are looking at it as, okay, I don't know enough and I don't know how to find out enough. I'm going to shut up. Mm-hmm. Even if I say something that's just, yo, I, like damn prayers to everybody over there, that's a problem. Mm-hmm. All right, then, I'll, then we should yeah. recognize those of you that choose and opt to shut the fuck up. Most definitely. I don't think those people should be in the same VIP section with y'all seen. True. Mm-hmm. It's a good one. That's true. And it's this is one. not a conversation for the stands. It's a good one. This is, stands can shut the fuck up in this one. Nah. Yeah, I, this I wasn't mean. even, yo, most don't even have Wi-Fi, yo. yo y'all can save. <laughs> y'all can You're not going to see none of that shit. Y'all in talking. the woods somewhere. Y'all can save all of that chitter chatter about uh, record charts. sales and charts <laughs> and singles. Yeah, Drake is him. Just all of that shiny shit don't really matter when you talking to him. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, it's just a different life. You know what I'm saying? This nigga's 50 years old. Drake is what, 30 something? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. It's, it's a different 37. thing. 37. Let's not say 30 something. I'm, I'm, I ain't know exactly. Well, it's it's Thirty-seven. On the world. Shine your light for the world to see. Sticky. Song is sad. Nah, it's fire, <laughs> fire. Like I just think that you could go get another fifty-five-year-old mm. that ain't Drake. That he's talking rings around them. 
Yeah. You go get a 60 year old. That's worldly. Yeah. He's talking rings around him. Yeah. Shout out to Mo. Shout, shout out to Mo. Shout out to Drake. I can't. And shout out to Drake. It was entertaining. It, it was entertaining. I'm going to be laughing about that. for I, the, the skews Excuse got me. I'm going to be laughing about funny. the skews for a long That's time. Funny. That's funny. hilarious. I just don't see how you could beef with Dan Paul. You know you make target slaps also. Mm-hmm. See, I'm not saying that to diminish you. That's a skill. Yeah, it is. It's hell. That I, is I, a I skill. As hell. Plenty of lyrical miracle niggas done went in and, and tried to make a just hold on, we're going home, and it didn't work didn't out work that out. way. Uh-huh. So... Yeah, <laughs> and a lot of them know they music. did, and then and shoot yeah. at the nigga that did. Shoot but God's plan wasn't for nobody but Target. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, like you, the- you could see, so you know, there's some validity to what he's saying because you could hear a Target record. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like fans are savvy enough today to even hear the record and be like, oh, okay, that's yeah, what I yeah, do we know what, what that one is. Yeah. And I'm not going to take this opportunity to say that I was right about that Drake and Sexy Red record. I know y'all tried to say y'all was right. Because it was slapping for a little bit. It's gone, mm-hmm. yo. It's gone. But anyway, uh, what we got? What we got? What we got? Shake that ass for drink. <laughs> <laughs> shake that ass for me. <laughs> that shit ain't do nothing but help a scissor set get lit for three minutes. Yeah. Yo. Man. That's all it did. Let scissor shake some ass for a second. It didn't work because she had to sit because she's pregnant and we're gonna, you know. The second them niggas stop spending money on that record, I don't care what they're doing at the HBCUs, it's over. <laughs> uh, all right. Favorite time of the day. Hey. Let's get it. Big prize picks. Big prize picks. Big prize picks. Big prize picks. Oh, damn, y'all sound like me. It was what? a rough week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody hit. Nobody got paid. Nobody got paid this week. I made a little $80. Ice was one off. I probably won like Ice was hit. one off from hitting like five, for hitting for 5K. I'm bucking some change. That was off. That was close on a bunch of shit. Prize Picks is the biggest daily fantasy sports app in all of the land. Very simple, easy, and beautiful to play. Mm-hmm. All you have to do is select two or more players. Look at their projected stat line and pick more or less. You also have the ability to do this through multiple leagues with NBA and NFL season in play through the specials specials league. Mm -hmm. Uh, I give my picks every week. I've lost a lot of you guys' money out there. (laughs) My most humble apologies. Some of y'all, I won money. If you're picking the opposite of my picks, (laughs) you you may have won. That's how bad I've been. Uh, But let me give you my Joe Budden Genius picks of the week. They all sound good until the game starts. <laughs> yeah, I got to get better at that. But here we go. I got Christian McCaffrey for more than 88.5 rushing yards. Okay. I have Brock Purdy for less than 264.5 yards. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He might get that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Stay away from that. But go ahead. Forget you. I got Jared Goff with less than 271.5 passing yards. Listen, it's playoff football. It is. I looked at what all these quarterbacks were doing. It was 200 yards, three touchdowns. Mm -hmm. It was 220 yards, four touchdowns. Like, that's what was going on out there. The only one that went crazy was Baker. And even Jordan Love only ended up with like 240 yards. Somewhere around there. And he went crazy too, but we'll get to that. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have... What did I just say? I have Jordan Love for less than 249.5 passing yards. I have Zay Flowers for more than 51.5 receiving yards. No matter that. And I have Aaron Jones for less than 95.5 rushing yards. No matter Those that. are my Joe Button genius or not so genius <laughs> picks of the week. They don't sound too bad. Really simple to play. Hope uh, for a chance to win up to 25 times your money. Good luck to everyone out there. Use that code JBP. Please. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen. It was a rough weekend. (laughs) Gentlemen. We were a bunch of losers on these couches here today. Bums. Bums, man. Bums. We will start with Antoine, the birthday boy himself. We'll go down and road to Ice and Park so okay. everyone can address their losing Kick your teams. teams back in. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Then we'll talk a little bit of football and we'll move on gracefully. So, uh, Ish, you had Dallas winning uh, by more than 20? By, by 20. 20. Mm. Um, uh, it's complete just 
Implo- implosion. <laughs> 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 it was just, it was, I think it's probably the worst loss in Cowboy history. What was the score? A lot to a lose, little bit. We ain't lose score by didn't much. matter. We ain't lose by much. But the way the game was played was just catastrophic. Mm-hmm. I don't know what we did. We played, I, I say it, we play like, we Hollywood, dog. We don't have no toughness. It's no physical or mental toughness at all in the team. They America's team. They believe it. <laughs> it's like the Lakers of basketball. Like, we just show time, and we believe it, and we got punched in the mouth. And when we got punched in the mouth, it was like, why you hit me? <laughs> <laughs> it was like that. It was. I think, I think it was a shitty job on behalf of the coaches. Mm-hmm. Um, the scheme that we had was trash. It was something that we didn't do all year, and they just took advantage of it. Mm-hmm. We looked like we was in college. Does Mike McCarthy come back? Yes. Hell no. I think I think you it's have over. to you have to bring him back because he went eleven and five for three years in a row, something like that. I wouldn't give a fuck what he went for three years in a row. I'm bringing him back unless you can land a unless a unless you can get shit. Belichick or Tom Harborough. Harborough is avail is available and Belichick is available. Yeah, Harborough's take, meeting with the Chargers, I believe. He already did. Uh, Falcons. 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 Mm-hmm. I take if Harborough could do that with Michigan. Why would I come back with Mike McCarthy? Let me tell you the difference. With with kid, not kids, because they're young adults in college, you have to listen to the coach. There's no egos. A lot of college coaches that exhibit success, they can't make that transition to the pros because the pros make millions of dollars and they be spoiled brats. I think that's old ideology now because the college players make it millions of dollars. It is changing. It's changing. Oh, but now, this year was still. They, they still, make millions. But not everybody. You know what I'm saying? No, my favorite storyline with y'all is I was watching that game saying... This is exactly why they kicked Mike McCarthy's fat ass out of the building. In Green Bay? Yes. This was their beef with him. We get however many years of Aaron Rodgers, and we get one chip, mm-hmm. all of this regular season success for us to fold in the playoffs. Get your fat ass the fuck out of here. <laughs> so to see it on the other side with Dallas, you know how I felt about y'all coaching forever. I just don't think the co- y'all have the coaching to get where you need to go. And, and then maybe that game exposed that y'all don't have the talent either. But Mike McCarthy was like a, a deer in headlights. It wasn't him. He didn't know what was going on. I think it was more. I follow the, some of them old, was, retired, defense, 60-year-old though. football players that just do the recap of replay and shit. Uh-huh. And they just kept highlighting how Dallas all game had the linebackers way further back than they should be when you know the team is running the ball. That's a coaching thing to me. Look. Our, that's a coaching thing. Our, our, the, but that's not Especially him. for the thing that y'all got killed in all year, which is running backs. Running the ball. I, I said it. Aaron Jones going to kill us. Yeah. I said it from the rip. I he wasn't did. even really worried about Jordan Love. I'm like, yo, we not going to be. They could have ran the ball all day, yo. They could. He could have had 200 or something yards. Mm-hmm. So you cool with Dak getting paid $60 million next season? You you wouldn't let him go? This, That's my final I Dallas would, question I wouldn't let him go because who you going to go get? I don't even like that thinking. Dak is a B-plus quarterback in the NFL no matter what you want to say. Mm-hmm. I can relate. Think about this. Dak led the league in touchdowns. Which could be could be fleeting. Dak lowered his interceptions by a lot. It's nothing you say to me in this instance is going to matter because Jordan Love is a rookie, and Dak and Dak is supposed to be able to outperform Jordan Love the rookie. Jordan Love put up forty something on one of the best defenses in the NFL. Not rookie, but his first year starting. Well. Dak mm-hmm. don't play defense. That's what that was. That was a defensive meltdown. You can't blame Dak on that. Dak didn't play the greatest. I'm not. Dak picked it up in the fourth, but by then it third. wasn't no game. Third or the third, it wasn't no game. It was a blowout game. By then. it's a game if we could get two two stops. It's a game if we get two stops. It's a game if he could. That's co- that's, that's still coaching to me. That's still coaching to me. What's y'all dude's name? That nigga's nice. The uh, Dan defensive Quinn. coordinator. Dan Quinn. Dan Quinn. He so look. Yeah, we, come on, man. Look, wait. We played no excuse, man to man all season. Uh-huh. He goes to a zone in the fucking playoffs, and they cooked us. Those, games, coach those games, you never come over to my house and watch it with me. <laughs> <laughs> Corey neither. Like, you Dallas fans, Corey was out of town at some drug convention again. But it's a coach and you, you, we supposed to, come on, let me we, see your we, face. We could I text you. That's why I put you on my Instagram. We could have. I put you on my Instagram because I text you. He tried to, I text him to talk shit. <laughs> and I said, He started hitting this. me about the Giants. No, I didn't. <laughs> You I, did. I, said, I have the text. I said, watch this. I thought we was going to win. But that's I after wasn't... you hit me about the Giants. This, and this... because you hit me about the Giants during the playoffs, I said, now we got to go to the Grand. This, this is the funny <laughs> part. Now, now I'm taking this Look, ridicule to the Grand. All these teams, right, that didn't make the playoffs, mm. it's like a nigga that never had a fight in their life. 
cracking on you for getting your ass beat in a fair one. Dog. You never had a fight. Dog, Sit down those, and shut up. Those people are still football fans. I know. As you think I cared at the Giants and I want to see good football. And it's a, it's a Cowboys thing too, though. Like the Cowboys fans, the the reputation that y'all me, you not that fan. I'll say that. But the Cowboys fan has its reputation. They do. It makes people glad to see y'all fail. Yeah, it was people out there saying that the Cowboys don't deserve to be America's team anymore. And while I understand that, I couldn't disagree more. Boy, will America you, soup you up. <laughs> <laughs> Give you some hope that there's somewhere to go out there. <laughs> only for a major letdown. Boy, that's American. Come on. Come on now. Jerry Jones looking 97 in the face. They was, light, they was lighting him up. They said Jerry Jones ain't had a day this bad since they let the Ruby girl back in school. Oh, shit. Yo. They wow. was lighting Jerry Jones since they desegregated things. Oh, That's how pissed off Jerry uh, Jones God, was. was Mike idiot. McCarthy, get your fat ass out of Green Bay. Don't even eat cheese no more, nigga. No more cheese in Dallas. He's out of there, buddy. He is gone. Anyway, mm -hmm. enough of y'all. Then we get to ice. The Steelers. Uh, I mean, we, by, all, by all intents, we shouldn't have been there. True. We shouldn't have Overachievers. been there. Yeah, we saw one. With that, with no, I mean, with that being said, with it being a twenty-one zip game, damn near in the first quarter or early second, they still managed to make a game out of it, and it wouldn't have got to that outside of two fluke fumbles. Like I, I think, had those went another way, this game looks differently. But back to your point, and I've said this quite a few times, that regular season success don't mean much under the lights. It don't. It don't. I'm tired of people, yo, Mike Tomlin never had a losing season and never had a losing season. That's You, you are absolutely correct, and he's an amazing coach. But amazing. what happens whoa. once we get there? Whoa, whoa. They didn't have the talent. I, I don't just, like that. Bro, we've had the talent. Probably, There's been years we've had the talent. And they the want talent. some chips. Yo, it, was just no, we, how, it was just Martin Luther King's birthday. <laughs> cool. I mean, what's it? Right? Salute. <laughs> they won some chips uh -huh. under Tomlin? <laughs> Did they win one? Wait, one. Yes, one. The, okay. They, right went, after they you, went to one. Right after you inherited Cowards team and they won the chip. And they went to one. And went to one. Lost. Mm -hmm. Ever since then, it has been a playoff drought damn near. Even when y'all were damn near top two t uh, ranked teams in the conference, you're putting up 40 points at home and lose. Mm -hmm. It's 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 a continued thing, bro. You, you want a new coach? Ice? Something got to change. Pittsburgh historically doesn't don't, don't. move off of a coach. No, they don't. They've had, and what, four coaches in 70 years or yeah. some bullshit? And they shouldn't. And they shouldn't. You want, you, you, I'm asking Ice the Steeler fan, do you want to move off of Tomlin? I, I just think it's, it might be time to bring in some 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 fresh energy. That don't That's say crazy. that you want to move I off of Tomlin. I can't send that energy to Dallas. That don't say you could want to move off of Tomlin. What the fuck you talking about? Oh, so you I salute him. Coach. <laughs> I salute him. I love, you know, hey, Dallas listen, we keep me. getting there, but you got to do something when you get there, bro. At some point. And I know that sounds like I'm speaking from a position. It of is. It because there's teams that had a playoff drop for 30 years. I understand that. It don't feel no better when you keep getting it, it, it. No matter how you get in the door. We've seen six, before it was a seven seed, we've seen six seeds run up and win the Super Bowl. Or at least get get a win. Mm -hmm. Get to the next round. I like the Giants. Yes. Mm -hmm. We've seen it happen. Y'all get to the playoffs every time and accomplish nothing. There's no point in going. And you're missing out on the fucking draft pick now. Mm -hmm. Parks, you are my second... You're, you and your team are my second biggest disappointment here for multiple reasons. Okay. The first one is y'all wasn't supposed to be in Kansas City. We weren't. We weren't. We shit the bed down the, down the stretch, especially that Tennessee game. That really ended up fucking the whole season for us. Um, this is what I, I saw as the problem, aside from the regular late season Dolphins collapses, is they built the offense – under the guise of our offensive line has been shitty for a bunch of years and Tua is injury prone. Let's make every single play less than two and a half seconds to Quick get the fact. ball out, which is great when it's successful, but when the teams clamp down on those short routes, they jam the receivers at the line of scrimmage and you don't have any other option, it was stagnant and trash. And I wish they would have relied on the running game more. I don't know why they kept trying to fucking throw screen passes and shit. It was... A terrible game plan, and it was disappointing. I mean, it is what it is. I was worried about y'all when they uh, flashed to Tyreek on the sideline looking for a jacket. 
<laughs> so, boy, it's cold out here. <laughs> I mean, he's used to that. Is so anyone he's, cold? He's from there. Well, that's the other well, he, thing. He spent eight years. That's he's the other thing that had me worried about y'all. Same with Mike McCarthy and the Cow and uh, the Packers. They know him, and all the reports after the game concerning Tyreek was. We know what he doesn't like. He doesn't like people putting their hands on him. We jammed him up. They showed the the footage of Snead mm-hmm. uh, just being Knocking really physical. Yeah, yeah. Body in him up. Yeah, yep. really physical with him. Like, Yeah, they, they didn't have a good counterpunch, man. They did not have a good counterpunch. Do y'all, you think y'all, do you think that this was just, you know, y'all let it go by fucking off the regular season, but do you feel like y'all are built to have success in the playoffs? Um, I think like, that what changes they, would you like to see? I would like to see them, I mean... I, I'm not sure. I'm not a coach, but to me, I think they need to make the offensive line more sure, I th- especially the middle of the offensive line with a smaller quarterback. You need the guards and centers to be on point. And they were injured. We had a really good center, but he went out. We lost a couple guards. It is what it is. Um, but they need to figure out a counter punch for when the fast game doesn't work. You need to allow him time to move around the pocket. They say he's not mobile or athletic or anything like that, but he can move around in the pocket if you give him any type of time. And don't build the whole offense on this has to be out in two seconds or it's done. What owner was that that threw the beer on the fan? Jacksonville. Jacksonville, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think y'all win if y'all done ran the ball more. I think I, so. Too. I don't know about win, but. It would have been, been more competitive. And y'all was getting yards. Yeah. Most of it was kicking their ass. He was. My favorite storylines from the NBA playoff, I mean the NBA, the NFL <laughs> playoffs thus far, and then we can move on off of sports. Uh, that Detroit game was electric. Amazing. It was. For many, for, for many different reasons. Amazing game. Uh, I love the picture of the Detroit Mount Rushmore that was running around. Calvin Johnson, Barry Sanders, uh, Big Sean, Eminem. I love that. Mm-hmm. I love just how electric the building was, knowing that you haven't had a playoff game. Yeah. They and the whole crowd singing uh, Lose Yourself. Yeah. All, of that, <laughs> all of that was fine. I, yeah. All of that was great. Uh, Dan, Shout out to Tanner, man. All of Dan Campbell's speeches have aged like the finest of wine. From when he, his per- first press conference when he took the gig, mm. the behind the scenes mm. where he's just talking about. I love the fact that he was a part of the winless 2018, him being the guy to do it. The story of the black, uh, damn, who's the black guy that was celebrating in the elevator? Is he the OC now? I don't know who he is now. But they told his story how he used to be a car salesman oh, in the yeah, 90s. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then he got, he wanted to, his dream was to be in the NFL. He started as like a video, some specialist, some bullshit for 10 years. Mm-hmm. They just, his storyline, his arc, that was great to see. Matthew Stafford coming back. Brad, Brad at, Holmes, Tanner updated me. Pr- Brad there Holmes, we go. Thank you so much. I love that. Tanner, I appreciate you, Brad Holmes. Yes, the Thank GM. You, the GM who puts this team together. Yeah. That's the other beautiful part for me. This whole team they got from the Matthew Stafford trade. Yeah. They got this whole team damn near from the Matthew Stafford that trade. Big shit. chunk of it. And yeah. I'm able to enjoy that stat as a Matthew Stafford fan because he got his already. Mm-hmm. That's true. <laughs> Yo, yeah. it was like That's a true. no lose. Yeah, everyone wanted that. Yeah, sure. Matt That's Stafford true. got his ring. We needed him to get. He hugged them niggas and was like, "Yo, go get it done. Mm-hmm. Go get it done." That, I love that Detroit game. That nah, was a great game. I did. And game. Puka. Man. Puka. Yo, the chips didn't fall right for you to guide my fantasy team to where we needed to be, but you showed your ass all year as a waiver pickup for me, yo. He's tough. He's tough. I like the way he plays. You pick as up. a waiver pickup this year for me. He ain't going to drop later than round three next year no. in fantasy. No. He showed his he ass nine crazy. receptions, a buck 80. Come on, man. Yeah, you know what's so crazy? Come on. Go Stafford. You f- you kind of damn near forgot they had Cooper Cup on the Word. team because he yeah. did so good all season. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was and just... Cup was banged up, but still. Cup yeah, was banged up. Yeah. You got to say, yeah, yeah, yeah like, yo, fam. Wait, and then they showed the footage from when the Rams drafted Puka. They showed them in their war room, like, debating mm-hmm, the pick mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. saying... We're going to love this kid. He tested poorly all around, but by our metrics of toughness and game speed, we think he's going to be a real game. They was all happy. Mm -hmm. So we knocked this one out of the park. And for him to deliver, what a story. That's dope. What a story, man. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I'm done. I'm done with football. I'm done with football. I, I just want to say anything else. I think was, was so amazing. That was one last, one last little piece. Oh, we not done with football. It was fucked <laughs> up with them throwing them snowballs at us. Like that. <laughs> oh, we got they do that up come there. On, they do that. That, oh, that shit was crazy. They did that to us last year. Dude. Come on. Hey. 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 H
Okay, here you go. Y'all want to do picks for next right. week or you want to wait till Friday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait okay, till Friday. Cool. Some more information can come out. Welcome yeah, yeah, back, Flip. Thank you. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. It's this pig skin ball that they be throwing. <laughs> yeah. And they hand it off sometimes yeah. and run it. Gotcha. Yeah, well, Benny Butcher said he, leather helmets, right? Back in the day, it'd be exactly. tough. Yeah, Got that's it. Right. That's true. Thank you for telling me. He won't go home and try to learn for the gig. For the betterment of the job. What channel is uh, ESPN? Put it around. Uh, <laughs> I got to shoot at you, yo. Do you have, you have ESPN? I do. Okay. You got files? No. Oh, I file Shane. What do you, what you, you got, got Comcast? Files, no, I don't have I don't have. You, got, oh, you got the fire You don't have cable. Not, not, you you no. seem like a nigga without me, cable. Me neither. I don't me have neither. cable either. Yeah, five, judgmental so. niggas go. Ish, stop. I see what I mean about? You still got the hey, cable box. Hey, hey, see, why, yeah. see why I need you? What? <laughs> no, okay, no, you guys are elitist. You, you guys to relate to each other because you... I said, do you see why I need you on your birthday? He don't know. He don't see why you need him with the... What's that again? Cashmere? What does he have on it? <laughs> ice ain't even gonna get Versace? none of this smoke from me because Ice Park's not neither. He been part of the no cable game. Facts. You two doofs. <laughs> How you calling us doofs? Nothing about her even look like she could load Let the me... fire stick. Why do you? She say... gotta send it off to the Genius Bar. Yeah. She goes. She go to yeah. Apple Store. Hey, can you buy this? Man? Jack Sparrow. Why do you feel like? <laughs> why do you feel like Captain? That judge. Yeah, look, look at me, Judge. Yeah, look. This is your man stuff. Yeah. Judging us. It's helping us. Stop judging. My girl is outside making moves. She's in BMW while you hate it. Yo, sink or swim. <laughs> sink or swim. Nigga, I, I don't mean, want I'm swimming, nigga. I listened to that last part. Just, oh, the leader didn't put us in position to lead. Facts. Shut the fuck up. Excuses are results. No. Mute up. You know that. I'm not dude. putting nobody. You know that, though. I'm not putting nobody in a position to lead. You know that. I seen a nigga with a cobra snake. He had to feed Pause. his pet. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> he was feeding his pet. He put a little mouse in there. Mouse and yeah. Come <laughs> swallow that nigga. Sink or swim, nigga. You shouldn't have been put in that position. <laughs> he put the mouse in there. Yeah. See, so he's just all he's doing is feeding his pet. But on the flip side, you, he, it's you, murder. It's murder. Sometimes <laughs> some, it's no, murder. You don't want. You don't want to. It is murder. Maybe he doesn't mm -hmm. identify as a murderer. Mm. <laughs> That boy. That was I mean, the not, greatest segue to a topic we wasn't going to. Yeah, but we can stay there. I don't care. Gypsy Rose does not identify as a murderer. Mm. Yep. Mm. Heard it here first from the cuckoo bitch herself. <laughs> hey, Ian, toss that interview idea out the window, buddy. I'm just going to really? talk about her. I don't want to talk to that. that. She's a kook. She is. Yeah, let me call out that day. Mm. <laughs> Good shot, 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 shot. I don't shot, associate shot, shot, myself shot. as a murderer because if you think about it, yes, I had a part to play in it. I why she saw requested, like cartoons. I asked you, Nick, for help. And how that all conversation started was you know, he was saying that he would protect me from anyone. I said, anyone. He said, yes. I said, even my mother. He said, yes. And then the, the plan kind of formed from there, but he's the one that did the actual kill. Yeah, we not know. me. We, we know, Gypsy. I can't kill anyone. That's why he's in trouble to begin with, because he's the one that did it. So, when they say oh, I'm a murderer, I don't identify as that. Under. See why I don't like I when, hold you. See why I don't like when chicks get a new it man? Should, it should be like a, a clause <laughs> somewhere where he, he, he should be able to get out. And see why I don't like when chicks get a new man? No, I mean, get out and go holler at her. Mm. Why would you even back say in. that about your killer ex-boyfriend? That's crazy. That's foul. These bitches are nuts. Look yeah. what she did. Second she come out, get a new dick. Now she's like, that's why he's in trouble. No, See? that's why you just got out of trouble. To all, to all you niggas out there that's crashing out over these women, look. Yeah, word. <laughs> Roscoe come in with <laughs> the... will get you sent <laughs> upstate. And she'll be going to the Roscoe next. come and sweep her off her feet. Now look. No, not even Roscoe. Niggas out there <laughs> wiping up a lot of our friends and... Just prayers and thoughts. <laughs> thoughts, and thoughts, and thoughts, and thoughts. Who are you talking about? Many people, but I won't say. We'll talk about one, but right now, let's talk about. We'll it. talk about one, but there's a bunch of them out there. Life's so short. Fuck it. You guys would not inform your friend that he might be getting involved with somebody who is. If she sounds like sandwiches. a puppet, I'm going to tell him. To, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> But Wait, you're not gonna finish. I don't you're not gonna you're not gonna inform your friend that he might be getting involved with somebody who's like two sandwiches short of a fucking picnic. 
Or would, is that considered hate? Well, the ones that's two sandwiches short of a picnic has the, have good box. So oh, for God's sake. We, I mean, he I'm right. telling you, it's he like right. a roller coaster. He right. The cyclone. But, so when you, yeah, so man, if that's, a, if that's, that's your mentality, then you take everything that comes ride. with that good box. You have to. It's a quote, water ride. Quote, good box. <laughs> that shit. Nope. You, you, that you shit do. calamari or whatever that shit is. <laughs> <laughs> that shit walk and drip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it has no smell. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Wait, hold on. What? It doesn't. Can you get the crazy ones be the crazy ones be clean. Yo. So what? Never mind. Uh, it be clean. You got to give it. The crazy ones be clean. No, so the, the answer to your question is no. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. No, no, it's not. We're not telling so you'll just watch him circle no, the drain. I'm, t- I'm telling. You're telling. Yeah, he you gonna can. tell because he want to snake. He want to. He want to smash him. No, I don't. That's what you'll tell. Oh, you probably did. Games. I don't know, but it's all right. <laughs> I'm on your ass, birthday boy. Mm-mm. Okay. Now we ain't telling you guys stay out of Niggas mind ain't business. You have to, man. In the beginning? I definitely know. If she that. crazy, I'm telling my man. In the if beginning, if, it, if I see it early, I'm saying something. I'm telling but even if you tell him, nine times out of ten, a nigga not gonna, he not gonna, he listen, gonna listen. He's not gonna listen. listen. Yeah, listen he what? Go. I told you. Yeah, it made me so mad. Behind closed doors, because y'all lie. That's just the bottom line. You have done it thus far in this investigation. You have done it this far as it relates to this committee. And every single hearing, y'all spin, spin, spin. I don't know how y'all are still standing right now because you should be quite dizzy from all the spinning that you're constantly doing when it comes to spinning the truth. I'll crack you. He got it first. Stop throwing. Yeah, we're going to oh, crack you. Nigga. Hey, yo, Just tell yo, me what oh, I'll get him. Boy, you, boy, you, boy, you lucky. On your birthday. You while, lucky. On your birthday. Nigga, while, you did, nah, while you I lucky. love you. Nah, you lucky. You deal with crazy. You, you, you dealt with crazy ones. do is get on this broadcast and, and spin and, the and, truth. and bite his tongue off to spin your fucking. Mm. Oh man, you got it, bro. You gonna tell? You gonna tell the guy that the girl is crazy? If, You're if, not gonna try and fuck her afterward. If you if, no, oh, shit. not at all. You wouldn't do that. <laughs> Never. I see where you going. Never. But to the you, tree top. You wouldn't try to fuck none of our crazy chicks after we. Oh do. shit! To the tree top. No. <laughs> No, that's what, that's what I just said. Nigga had to think. <laughs> yeah, I had to think. No, that's what I just said. Nigga had that bad elephant brain. You know what he talking about, nigga? I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, I hate you. I ain't gonna lie. You good at that, son. That's my man. I have no idea what he's talking about. You know what he's talking about? <laughs> yeah, right. Because yeah. I heard you talk about it. But let's move on. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, you probably would warn the friend, right? So they could just get away. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know me better than that. If I knew somebody was in trouble, I wouldn't tell you. I've been with you when we've been out and met these hoes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Keep going. No. Keep going. It's no. Easter is coming up. What that <laughs> no, the ace is mad far. You got Valentine's Day first. Oh, man. shit. All right. It's all right, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> uh, I had this written down early in the week, mm, okay. And I want to start with Rick Ross and his new young girl, Christina. Right, Christina Mackey. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody knows her name right now. Well, what does she do? No, Care- slow down. Careful. Okay, slow down. Let's slow down. <laughs> Let's slow down. Let me finish, and then let's give Mel the proper entry to hate. To hate? That keep, sounded, keep, that, that was that was nasty earlier, man. Was, yeah, come on, man. Shout out to Pretty V. Free you. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about Rick Ross and his new young girlfriend, not because we ever want to talk about anybody's relationship. True. That's not what we do up here. However... The young lady has been making the rounds. She's done a bunch of interviews. And even before this, Ross put her on the projector behind him when he was performing in Dubai or wherever he was. Swag. That was the first sign. Swag. That was sign number one. I seen that shit and said, oh, oh fuck. <laughs> we, got, we got it going on now. We got action. I've been there before. This is me and <laughs> all over again. This is, this is me if <laughs> could talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This was me if I let my... Hey, write that down. <laughs> this, hey, this, this is me if when I was fucking the young bitches, I let them do interviews. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you fucking let them be heard? That is not... Yo, these two are breaking every rule. <laughs> these two? Yes. Because mm-hmm. when you get older, you learn that you allow what you allow. 
Mm-hmm. Like as older niggas, you know what you get out of whatever's going on with mm-hmm. your youthful spirit. Mm-hmm. However, you also kind of can see the signs of when somebody never scored a touchdown before. Somebody's never been here before. Somebody's never had this type of attention before. Mistake number one is Christina shading all of the work before her. Mm -hmm. Before we get to posting a baby, for at least three weeks now, Christina has shaded every girl and baby mother that has come before her. That is definitely mistake one. Even even speaking on them is a mistake. Exactly. Like, don't say a word at all. You don't know them. Even if he told you whatever, you should be saying a word about people questioning. You know, where's Pretty V? How do that make you feel? It doesn't make me feel anywhere at all. I think it's funny. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's just it's levels to everything, right? Mm -hmm. And that was never this. Mm. Nah, she's not For the lie. people that don't know, what do you mean by that was never this and this level still? I love black Whatever they have, it's not what we have. <laughs> Temple, you know, mm-hmm. it's no disrespect to anybody. No, but that's a lot of man. Whatever disrespect. y'all think they had is not what we for sure have. Mm. <laughs> it's just not. So I'm not worried about it. Um, I see the comments too. You Did know? they go public? No. Well, everybody had. They had to go public. Everybody knew. Where's the pictures of them holding hands and them kissing and them on the jet together Fair. and them in Dubai and her on the billboard? Big like, mistake. Where's, where's the flowers? Those where's pictures exist. Those y'all videos comment, exist. Y'all let me know. Y'all put it. No, nigga, shut up. I'm back in here now. Yeah. Big mistake. Actually, I'm just about to toss it to Mel. Pretty if you know how to carry you it. You can't get out there talking about, I don't see this with them. And that exists. If you wasn't outside for it, you just wasn't outside for it. But people that was there remember Ross and Lyra. They remember Ross. Come on, I don't want to name names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I'm on, I'm, listen, I fuck with her. And I fuck with him. So I'm only bringing this up to highlight the mistakes <laughs> that young women make when they get with a man of this, of this status and in, mm-hmm. in caliber. Like, why you can't... I never understood why women choose to diss every woman that came before them with this guy, especially if you don't know them, especially if they have just no bearing to your situation shit. Like, I think he moved her in that they live together. Oh, wow. They live together. Y'all two, three, four months in, we can't say, because you might have been behind the scenes, Mm -hmm, who knows. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's very new. So when you're the new young girl that's just talkative and shitting on the exes, I don't know why women do that. Mel, can you speak to any of that? No, no, I really can't. I mean, not to knock anybody and not to say that my way is right, but there's a reason why, you know, my private life has never really been public fodder because I've been extremely private about my private life. I would, not to say, I would never speak about my, whoever I'm in a relationship with, his prior relationships. I wasn't there. I have nothing to do with it. They have nothing to do with me. There's no point in me shading them. Like that just... That's kind of that that has more of a reflection on you than it does on them. Talk. It makes you look mad insecure Systemale. to be talking about other women that you really don't know the specifics. All you have is information you might have read from blogs and information you got from him. And so it's going to be there's there's you know, it's it's fruit from the poisonous tree kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? So I think that. You know, it's just a different day and age where everybody feels like they got to fucking say every single thought that comes into their fucking head. And sometimes people, when they're also being interviewed, you don't have to answer the fucking question, that especially part. if it's mad leading, especially if it's go- if you want the clickbait, then fine. Say whatever you want. Be incendi- incendiary about your comments and whatever. And then, you know, you 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 take the fallout or, you know, the back and forth or whatever. But I never had the energy for that shit. I never wanted it. I never desired it. I never needed it. So I can't ever speak to women who make comments about the guy who I'm involved with, his prior relationships. And, and I just, part, I'm not doing that. The part that a lot of them miss, you shitting on all of them exes. You, you could you, become an ex. And when I you, mean. And when you become an ex, they, they're going to be on that ass. Okay, now y'all about to take away from future fun for me. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Y'all stop. Lee, 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 educating. Put, put that, talk that one. Talk, okay. Because in three to five months, Are you giving it a lot. I am. 
I am. Really no, but wait. once once you move is. once you move them in, it take about two to month to get is them this out. The, wait, the less or the more, right? Less or more? He's taking the less. Taking He's the taking the less. less. He's taking the less. Okay. Prize pick. <laughs> taking the more? I'm just, I'm, I'm saying once you move them in, it take a little while to get them it's out different. on of the terms life. that you need to get That's them out. True. If you're not just being a dick saying, bitch, get the fuck out, get your shit, you ain't never had nothing, Damn. I fucking made you, I saved you like I did. Damn. <laughs> Damn. When, you got to do it the right way. When you a certain level, I got your spot over there, go. Mm -hmm. That's true, too. I got your spot over there. I paid there. the least for the year. Yeah. You yeah. Good. It ain't got to take that long. And if to make matters work, I mean worse, mm -hmm. Ross just had a, a, a baby. Congrats. Congratulations. Congrats. The mother posted the baby mm -hmm. on the two-month anniversary. Christina posts that picture in her story and says, gorgeous baby. Even if your intentions are pure here, oh my God. you have mm -hmm. to know that mm -hmm. this is she a no-no. She yes. yeah. Out of line. And this is a friend of the show. Yes, she we is. We want to try yes, and is. have some grace. A friend of whose? She's a friend of Me the show. Me-ish. I know her? I don't know her personally. I like her. I, lo I loved her content, actually. Mm -hmm. What does she do? I know her personally. She talks. She pod. She's a friend of the show. She's dope. She's Flag a on the play. Bridge. She's fire. What? Flag on a play, Joe. Call her. You not? No, 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 no. I'm not doing that. Not now, but give her, give her a call. No, I'm it. never doing that. No, oh, it's just none of your business. You are trying to take away from my future fund. <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I, I, let me give it back. Oh, yo, I want to see the meltdown. You're doing a good job. <laughs> that's, that's why people get mad at are you. You shouldn't be. Why? Because you can't. Yo, that's the thing with. That's the thing with aging. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of aging is that some of this stuff you know how it will end. Yeah, course, and sometimes you can't protect course. people from themselves. You, know how you gotta let them end. fucking trip and fall, make those mistakes. But you, know, you can't post people. nobody fucking baby. That, that girl will whoop rough. your ass. She right. made a she made a comment. Oh, she did. The baby, yes, the baby mama made a comment. She was like, "It's giving stranger danger." I don't know you. I, I don't know you. Yeah. Why are you posting we my child? We don't know yeah, you. Yeah, we don't know you. Yeah, I agree. Don't use us. For your clout games, mm. yep. clout babies. See, which is, what, she, which what, is she, what she said. What it looked like she was trying to do, and I, I can't speak for her. I haven't spoken to her or nothing, but it looks like this was her way of saying, "I'm not bothered, and I know about it, and so I know about it." You know, it's, yeah, but it's, it's corny. corny. It's very corny. It's I'm corny. not. I'm not Especially defending this at all. Ross hasn't posted his baby yet, at all. Why are you posting the baby? As soon as I seen that, I pictured that nigga walking upstairs. <laughs> or downstairs, either one. Take the elevator. You can reverse the video. Elevator. 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 elevator might not be fast enough. He got. He had the power walk. <laughs> he, he probably had the tractor too. He had the. As you know, a nigga, you oh, just yeah. know how these things play out. When you look at your phone and see Shorty is upstairs posting this. Hey, hold up. <laughs> hey, hold up. Yo, take that shit down. Yo, erase that shit. You fucking. Are you, you fucking out of your fucking, fucking mind? mind. Wrong with you? And I fuck with. That's my favorite baby mom. I'm not talking about Ross. I'm just freestyling right now. Yeah. Yeah. I love this baby mama. <laughs> This ain't even the one I want you I'm to. I'm good with this. Yeah. You're to, what are you doing? And I just made all of this public display of our love. It's no need for you to do or act like you've been here before. And that's it's why. Hard when you never been here before. And that's why I like mine with a few rodeos under the belt. <laughs> oh, I feel shit. like we've had that talk here before. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, we did. I don't, we, we have. Did, yes, we, we have. Did. Not on that circumstance. Man, get these New Jack City hoes to fuck at, away from me. I told me. you. That's why when the people say, yo, why certain niggas date the same seven, eight girls? Because they know how to fucking move. Because they, they know how to act. They know how to hold it down. They know how to suck a good dick after a long night out with her hussy friends. <laughs> They know when to fucking add a little bit. They know when you need some peace. They know your schedule. They don't have no schedule. There's mad reasons why this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> why this? Why niggas rotate the same women? Because the second you go out there and try to be the entertainer to say, I'm going to change the game and find one no one's ever seen and had. Mm -hmm. You get that. You get this. <laughs> How old is she? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how old. I don't know how old she is now. I know how old she was when we was in Denver. Mm -hmm. Now, and my math ain't all that great. Got it. I just don't understand why women. I've seen that. We've seen them make mm -hmm. this exact. I only bring it up. This ain't really a, a a dude topic, but it is. But it is. 
Because if you've been around long enough, you've seen these same exact mistakes. As soon as one of them posts go up with her or him, I just get to the comments. Mm. <laughs> I just click the comment. I'm, I'm trying to see this. Everybody that's 35 and up, 40 and up, 50 and up knows how this game goes. Mm -hmm. Says it from a mile away. Yeah, I feel. You've seen this movie a thousand times. I feel bro. for them, yo. I do. I do. I feel for them. I feel for them. So besides the, you know, posting, um, reposting the the picture of the baby, if you're Ross, are you telling her to like, of course, shut the fuck up? Yeah. Like stop, stop yeah. being so reactive to social media and getting on and recording videos. She's recorded a few of them. The last one that she recorded before this was where she was trying to circumvent the whole definition of pick me for a new definition. Of course I want to be a pick me. I want him to pick me every single time. Everybody's business. Yeah, but you know, if you mind your business, I can mind my business. Whatever I post doesn't mean you get to dig deep into what I say. You know, if I say that this is my person, this is my person. And if I want to post my person, I'm going to post my person, right? You know, and the, the pick me ran is in here somewhere. That's why I played it. The Cali kickback. Well, would you just move with a man? Why wouldn't you just move with a man? If you lived with your man, you wouldn't be on my page on a fake account. Oh, oh baby. You would just oh, I hate to see this. Because it's the same person making the fake accounts. Damn. You know? Mm. But I, I hey, if I say a bitch can't make a taco. <laughs> 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 Yo. Can't make a taco. Joe. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what she worth. I'm gonna tell you in a minute. You know what's coming up. What that whole work, y'all? I'm gonna pour one more shot before I go. <laughs> <laughs> work for dollars. Somebody send somebody this for a gift. That's the other thing about you know, fucking the young girls, and then you get hungry. Mm. <laughs> hey, yo, I, Joe, yeah. I'm sorry to cut you off, Joe. No, See? don't. Cut me up. This I can Uber eat some McDonald's. Sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't even know a provolone is. <laughs> look, at little, oh, man. look at your little young girl. You yeah. Oh, man. Baby, I could sure use a home cooked meal right now. I'm tired of eating outside. I can make eggs. And she's so eager. <laughs> Not even good. She's so that, excited though. to fucking help you. <laughs> Babe, don't worry about it. I will go make taco <laughs> Yo, this whole shit over. that's what all the younger <laughs> chicks make for niggas that's the young version of chicken alfredo they're not using they're not using the uh uh the taco el paso from the, the el paso box. taco <laughs> kit <laughs> yes nigga uh, yeah. that's the young the little chick. powder shit yep uh, the young chick version taco seasoning hey, yeah. <laughs> With a little sauce in it. That shit good. That shit good. <laughs> that shit is not good. Is not you good, crazy. Man. That shit mad good. Hell I no. use that shit, nigga. Ta Hell. Tacos today are the, that's the, that's the so young that's chick full, rasta that's pasta. The chick, chick, chick at Alfredo. <laughs> when that's you go crazy, ask your young yo. chick to make you a little bite because you work hard all day trying to just get to the money out of here. Just cut up one little avocado and call it good. It's, <laughs> it's dressing. They go downstairs. And He's make some tacos. tacos. They think they're killing. Your hard shell are soft. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't want, they don't even want the shells. And up. you they don't even know. No, uh, that just tastes like glue. No. <laughs> you as the old oh, nigga shit. know how these tacos is about to come back. <laughs> and Ross face when he got those tacos. <laughs> Cause you want to say something, but you can't. <laughs> you are grateful if you say something. <laughs> well, no, you just are educating a little young bitch. You can't make a you're, taco. You appreciate her like, effort. Like you know that oh, she had yeah. that. She's not been some another nigga's favorite taco maker. Like you know this is about to come back as some bullshit. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> my little younger, she's like, oh, I have to make my special dish that my mother taught me some meat salad. <laughs> like young <Huh>? chicks. <laughs> Hold on. What is meat salad? What the fuck is meat salad? Oh, I'm telling you what it what, was. What, ground beef and, on a salad? And I was. Oh, they put mayo in it. Yeah. Like tuna salad, but with beef. Nobody, nobody put <laughs> what? mayo in it. What are you talking about? You, you never, know, had, you never like, had the meat salad? No. You know what I'm talking about? Like a tuna salad or chicken salad is mayo and some tuna or some chicken. Maybe they put mayo in the burger. Uh, it was some steak. It was lettuce. It was tomato, meat salad, oil, uh, who made vinegar. Let, let's stop. Yo, what are y'all doing? Yo, come on. Said, be respectful. Yeah, be respectful. He in a relationship. He in a relationship. But I was so in love you at the time. time. Boy, did I love that. That's just sound like nachos, nigga. <laughs> 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 what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm surprised you never had any. 
<laughs> meat salad. And sometimes when I wanted to really make her day, I used to come downstairs. Babe, hook, hey, hey, hook up some hook meat up salad. Some hey. meat salad. <laughs> Why don't you make me some of that meat salad? <laughs> <laughs> meat salad. Has nobody else nuts. had this experience? No. While fucking, while well, yes, fucking a yes, young chick? Not meat salad. Come on. Not meat salad. Come on. Not meat salad shit, bro. That's this is horrific. Jesus. You just made it. Yo, Ross sense. face when he, made, when he ate that taco, yo. <laughs> I've definitely had the experience with the tacos, but like I said, they ain't even know. Yo, you're supposed to. You got to put these in the oven first. Man. You can't just... Never mind. Hot out the box. Yes. Man. Dude, that's disgusting. You gotta heat them up. You gotta heat them up. Dude, my little joke with my girl, she went in the kitchen when I was hungry one time. Came out to me, oh, <laughs> the seasoning opened on the broccoli, so. <laughs> <laughs> opened the wrong end. You know, there's too much in there. My bad, dog. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about my family. <laughs> Yeah. Yo, the season opened up, so the broccoli might be a little, a little salty. <laughs> so, so my joke is, babe, babe, go ahead and make me some of that spicy broccoli. <laughs> you ate it? Yeah, and, and I like it. it. And I like it. And I like it. Yo. But I'm a sick nigga. So, so like, hey, let me get some you spicy ate meat salad. Broccoli. So, and you would love meat salad. spicy broccoli. Oh, Listen, broccoli's not real. So, I mean, Yo, stop. what type of talk do y'all want to have? Lemons. And don't let me tell y'all about the nigga I found that said kale is a myth. Uh oh, I don't, don't fuck with kale. Uh oh, yeah. What's up? What's up? That one too. What's up? Yes, I, I have kale over there. Yeah, it, it ain't real. real. Are you of the belief that kale is a myth or not? No, it's very real. It is real. It's a real thing. It's just thing. crafted like pit bulls. Uh oh, we've had this uh, conversation before. <laughs> yeah, pit bulls. They made it like they made pit bulls. And oh. who else? And what else? Kale is um, real, man. Uh, uh, Shih Tzu's. And keep going. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. <laughs> Doberman Pinsir, I'm sure. <laughs> they all came from a wolf. Okay. <laughs> can we take a brief break so I can find a kale nigga? Yeah, please. Of course. All right, yeah. And we are back. As garnish in the salad bar, not in your mouth. Up until 2013, Pizza Hut was the largest buyer of kale in the United States. And what did they use it for? They used it for garnish around the outside of the pizza bar. Up until 2013, nobody gave a about kale. And rightly so, because kale is bullshit, right? <laughs> but somewhere around 2013, things shifted. Kale got a publicist, and someone somehow mm -hmm. convinced remember, us yeah. that eating a bitter green full of isothiocyanates, which inhibit the absorption of iodine to the level of your thyroid, that's not really good for you at all, is good for you. We all got bamboozled. It's like we all got hypnotized, salad. we all got programmed, we all got convinced, we all got tricked into believing that kale is somehow good for us. Kale also accumulates heavy metals like thallium and cadmium, like many leaves do. I know you may be eating kale now, and that's fine, but if you have gut issues, if you have gas, if you have bloating, if you have constipation, if your heavy metals are high, or you don't feel good in general, try getting rid of kale. Why are you this is where it belongs. Like <laughs> garnish in the salad bar, not in your mouth. Up and... Mm. Mm. That's mm. probably why you have so much body fat. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> The retention. The body fat nigga came in and said you were like <laughs> so much kale. something crazy. It's that kale, Take yo. kale out of your... I know spiritual healers, Instagram said that you could eat kale, but you shouldn't always listen to spiritual healers. It's a garnish. Stop glazing, Instagram. man. Yo, now, good, man. the best thing about the meat salad young girl taco thing is that when you inevitably separate and you as the man have to act sad about losing your little young vagina... You get to say shit like, damn, I'm going to miss that meat salad, meat salad, yo. <laughs> Pause. And then you empower and embolden them to say things like, you'll never get this meat salad again. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll say, damn. damn. But inside you're saying, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I say, oh, fucking oh man. man. Your grocery store ain't the only one that sell Italian dressing and steak. <laughs> oh, man, this guy. Um, mm, damn. <laughs> anything out there to say to the younger women that are trying to fuck multi-million, multi-millionaires and lure them in with tacos and shade all of their exes? <laughs> Do you have a word for them? You got OG right now, Mel. You got OG. Back, yeah. yeah. Yeah, come on. Yeah, it's Be OG big Mel right for it. Go. It's your turn. It's your turn to shine. 
don't 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 include us in the group chat. That's it. Just enjoy the time with them because you don't know how long it's gonna last. Beautiful word. That's it. Beautiful yeah, word. Poetic. From Sister Ma- Are you familiar with Shorty? Do you have you ever heard of her before? Mm-hmm. You have? Yep. How? She's dope. How did you how did you hear about her? Um she used to post a lot about um you know, women empowerment, nice. self empowerment. Nice. Kind do you of know thing. anybody? Oh, you follow her. Do you know anybody? No, I don't. Do you know oh. anybody that know her? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> how, no, how, I mean the guys have mentioned that they know her. Do you know anybody besides the guys that know her? Stop <laughs> fishing, motherfucker. She ever took any of your niggas? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit, you get no. Me. Whoa, 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 she whoa. Ever, she ever took any of your potential niggas? No. Oh, you don't view it that way. No. Mm, got it. Seems to be a theme with you. <laughs> No. Leave Coretta alone. Was not but it's just lies. <laughs> so this mouse behind the house. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> that nigga is playing dirty style. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna take the lid. I heard everything. I'm gonna get him. I'll take the lid off of this shit. I'm going to get him. I'm giving both of y'all chilling, a chance bro. to concede. Yo, real quick. So mm-hmm. I was at the spot the other night, and they were switching up the music that they decided to play on a Saturday versus a Friday. And I was in there, and I was listening, and all I thought to myself was, that would be one of the reasons to keep me far the fuck away from DJing. What's that? What, what, the, 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 club, night? the actual club? The club owner or the manager dictating what you can oh, and yeah. cannot play. As mm-hmm. a DJ, that has got to be a nightmare. Not if you yeah, Ill. but if you got if you got some juice, which you would have as a DJ, or well, if you well, Ill, yeah, you know how to tell, get my dick. Bags. I'm playing what the fuck I want. Get away from the booth, nigga. Mm-hmm. Or I will leave. I pack this shit up. But, but if that it, was as a club owner. If I got a different crowd on this night, like I, certain spot used to do Latin night on Tuesdays. Jersey girls. This is yeah, one. Of I was those, this is one of them instances where everybody's right, yo. I understand the club. Yeah, owner. but I'm just saying, as the DJ, if you that ill. Okay, it's Latin night. Nigga, I got a Latin bag I could get into and I could still True. rock this motherfucker. Okay, now it's throwback night. I could get in that bag and rock this motherfucker. Like, if you ill, you, it don't matter. I will be doing tonight. Yeah, but That's it's, what I'm it's about. still insulting, though. You know, when you when you message your craft and you telling me what to play and, and not to play. Well, if you're playing some bullshit. That's not why they're coming up to them. The masters are, I don't think, getting told as much. It happens still, sometimes. Got it. I've seen it happen, but... No. Niggas don't listen. Nigga like me will not listen. Get me out of here, nigga. <laughs> you just a rebellious yeah. nigga. I'll turn the volume up on that Joe shit. Joe, too. What you, you're a rebellious what, what, nigga, too. What you said? And you don't need the money, y'all, I'm out. Pack my shit up, man. Let me go ahead. Ain't gonna have a nigga pack it up for us. Man, pack my shit up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that's funny. Nigga won't pass I ain't start me. getting money, too. Like, I learned to just tell niggas, no, fuck off. Hmm. Interesting. And when you tell niggas, yes. I know that some people think that the money empowers you, and it does to tell people no and fuck off. Mm-hmm. But for me, you didn't get to it unless you were able to tell people no, no. for certain things. And I had help with that. But you got to focus your time your time on whatever aligns with where you're trying to go. I don't. In music, we do shit for the look and the, mm-hmm. the favor, and we show up, nigga. No. No, it's over that. I got work to do. Um, moving on, moving on, moving on. Well, the Emmys. The Emmys. Hey, let's go. The Emmy. Big Mel. Did any of you watch it? No, football was on. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? Why would we? I saw a little bit. I did. I, I saw a little bit because my, te- my mom texted me and said, Quinta won. She know how I feel. Mm-hmm. She know how I feel about Quinta. That's all I needed to see. She be cracking them. Quinta, right? Yeah. yeah. Listen, I'm here to celebrate. She's like a staple. I'm here to celebrate Quinta. She won. Where's my speech? Here we go. Amy goes to Quinta Brunson. Come on, man. Uh, Come on, on, man. Come on, man. Congratulations. Let's get some applause in here, too. Big Quinta. I couldn't have been more happy for her. I forget. First black woman to win in this category in 40 years. Mm-hmm. Black excellence. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, thank you so much. Just 
I don't even know why I'm so emotional. I think like the Carol Burnett of it all. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank Shout you so to Carol much. Burnett, um, too. I love making Abbott Elementary so much, and I am so happy to be able to live my dream and act out comedy. And um, I say it every time, but I just love comedy so much that I I, I am so happy to be able to do this. I don't. I didn't prepare anything because I just didn't think. Um, I almost cried oh, listening to this. I love my mom, yeah. my dad, my <laughs> sisters, my brothers, my entire family so much. I love my husband. I'm so happy. I love my cast. Um, I love Abbott Elementary. Thank you so much. Come on, man. Oh, nice, yes. yes. Well, you so, can't respect so that. Your whole perspective is whack. Mm. Shout out to Congratulations her. Congratulations to Quinta. Let me shut up and toss it to our Canadian sister. The Emmys was fucking epic. It was just such a good fucking award show. Shout out to Jesse Collins, um, black owned, black run production company. Shout out to Daytuan, who's working with them. Daytuan Thomas, who's a friend of everybody, I'm sure, in this room. Like that set the stage. Anthony Anderson was a great host. He incorporated his mom into his, you know, into his monologue and that and that sort of thing. It was really great. And then it started off with two. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. So, okay, it started off with two black women winning huge awards. It was um, Io, uh, her last name is Etta Berry. She won for Best for Supporting bear. Actress um, mm -hmm. in The Bear. Mm -hmm. And then right now. And The Bear won Best they Comedy. Up. Uh, they hold up. Up. I'm getting to that. Yeah. The Bear cleaned up and Succession cleaned up. It was I'm their, it. It was their fucking it. night. And um, my little, my favorite uh, supporting people won too. Exactly. Yeah. They so, it. yeah. Nisi Nash, mm -hmm. uh, the I'm dude guessing. from Blackbird. I was like, okay, they, they killed this. <laughs> yeah, Shorty from Dahmer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I actually, we got to play um, Nisi Nash's acceptance speech because that shit was super epic. But the award show opens with Christina Applegate, who announces the Best Supporting Actress win. But that was a really big moment because she's got um, really aggressive multiple sclerosis. So for yeah. her to walk out on the Shout stage, you mm. know, and get a standing and ovation, no it was. It and was, we grew up with Christina Applegate. It, sure. We did. Mm -hmm. We yeah. did. We yes, did. We I did. mean, you know, people. I remember that. People. I people see, we, yeah. Not right now. Yeah. Don't be horny right now. <laughs> but don't be horny right now. You sure. don't need to barrel a cracker right now. <laughs> it's his like, birthday, so he can get it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you can get it off. All the whites you can get. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as many whites as you can find, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, so um, it's starting off with two black actresses winning in like two top categories was just so fantastic. I have that for you if you're ready. Nisi Nash. I'm a winner, baby. Let's go. Thank you to the most high for this divine moment. Thank you, Ryan Murphy, for seeing me. Evan Peters, I love you. Netflix, every single person who voted for me, thank you. And my better half who picked me up when I was gutted from this work, thank you. Mm -hmm. And you know who I want to thank? Mm -hmm. I want to thank me. You <laughs> for believing in me and doing what they said I could not do. Mm -hmm. And I want to say to myself in front of all you beautiful people, go on, girl, with your Hello. bad self. <laughs> On behalf of every black and brown woman who has gone unheard yet over policed, like Glenda Cleveland, mm. like Sandra Bland, mm. like Breonna Ooh. Taylor. Mm. As an artist, my job is to speak true to power, and baby, I'ma do it to the day I die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's fine. If like you can't I respect that, your whole perspective facts. is well. You know what I thought I'm, about Joe? <laughs> the conversation we had about the most deaf and, and Drake and all of that type of stuff. Like, what do you do in the moment? You know what I mean? Like, for her to go up there and, and use this time mm -hmm. to highlight... To do that. Mm -hmm. To do that. Mm -hmm. That's true. I'm glad she won. It. During the Dahmer shit, when we talked about it potentially winning awards, I was like, I hope they give it to people like Niecy Nash that were not, like... Playing a killer. Playing a killer. Yeah, glorifying serial killers. the show deserves like awards, yeah. but yeah. let's not great. glorify the murderer mm -hmm. and celebrity-fy the, yeah. the murderer. Yeah. And I think they did a good job of that. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. Niecy Nash was, I mean, I was crying when she won because, I mean, she looked, she, I mean, it just was so a perfect. you mean you were like normal? 
Yes, I was like normal, no. but it was Whoa. just it was just such a perfect moment. She looked beautiful. The dress was beautiful. Everything was beautiful. The whole moment, everything. This was this was not a planned speech. She this was her speaking from her heart, and it was wonderful to watch. Mm-hmm. I, if you haven't seen Dahmer and her performance in it, she one thousand percent deserved this award. So she won for best um, supporting actress mm-hmm. in a limited series or anthology. Mm-hmm. Um, the beef was also a really big winner. So yeah, I gotta go back and watch. Beef that, is great. I slept. Yeah. I slept. Beef is great. Yeah. Beef, beer, succession. The, the, the people that are winning this year. Should have won. I'm blessed enough to even be familiar with beer. Beer yeah. for me was one of my late night, I don't have nothing. Let me just start some shit. Yeah. Yeah. And that shit was fire. It's so, fantastic. It's so, a comedy? Sort of, kind of. It's a little e- bit of everything. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a, comedy, it's drama, a, it's a life suspense. Of yeah. That was great. Is that, is that yeah, a real I term? I just wrote that up. Yeah, that, it's a life I like that. <laughs> it's a life yeah. So um, another thing that the Emmys did was they reunited casts from, you know, epic TV shows over the course of like the last 40, 50 years. Yeah, so Martin, Martin um, yeah, they had, a, they had, they had, they created the set. So they had the Cheers set. Um, they had Martin set. Um, they they had the Game of Thrones throne. Keep it black right now, though. Mark. Yeah. Jack and Mark. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we talking about Mark. Yeah. Sorry. yeah. yeah. So they reunited the cast. Um, and, oh, you know, nice. that was just a really good. That's fine. You know, Rest, in peace, Rest in oh, peace, Tommy. Rest in peace, Tommy. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Tommy, man. Rest in peace, Tommy. So basically, Succession wins. They won. Um, Everything. Yeah, they won uh, Best Supporting Actor, um, Tom. Um, okay. They best they won best actor, which was um, Kieran Culkin, who played Roman, yeah. and he went up against um, Brian Cox and Jeremy Strong. So uh, basically, Kendall and and the dad, yeah, exactly their, their show. Yeah, and was he it? won. Shiv won That's for hard. best um, best supporting actress, and this mm-hmm. is all in a drama series. Um, the Bear won a lot. Beef won a lot. Niecy Nash won a lot. Trevor Noah a lot won for um, The Daily Show, yeah, as he always Trevor does. Which was John, uh, not John Stewart, but um, best writing this one. Yeah, uh, yeah, what's my man's name? The British dude on HBO. Yeah, John, um, John Oliver. Those two always win. Yeah, John, John yeah. Oliver and Trevor Noah always win. Mm-hmm. Before you leave this, I also mm-hmm. want to point out I had no idea that uh, Fox owns Tubi. Yes, I didn't know that. Yep. Wow. Fox owns Tubi. Back to the design of well, things. We had that talk before. I, yeah. Well, yeah. That's Back crazy. to the design of things. Think about that. That's it. Mm-hmm. I just, if you know, you know, and that's it. I, Unless. I just think it's crazy. I think that. Um, Spotify was distro kid. They'll give you a platform to get you to get <laughs> to get you part of it at least. Yeah. Like you, you could do your niggerdom. We still gonna just profit off your niggerdom, and we'll mm. throw you out there and we'll play we'll play the cut, and let you think that you getting this black shit off or this black platform off, mm. and you really not. You just making them. No, 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 no. That's not right though, because that's not what Tubi is. That, Tubi's that, not Tubi's not that that you you're describing Tubi as if it's like a Zeus. A Zeus. It's not that at all. Tubi is it separate. It has all of that shit on it. It has mm. blockbuster, A-list movies. It's it's everything. Uh, it's just people. He's speaking to who's making it pop. Yeah, I was That's about to say, what's to. making it popular and from it's black where? people. And there. Where? And where? Let's, what's well, making it pop? Just, where? You know, it's not my bag. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you that whenever you hear about something Tubi, about Tubi, movie. the reputation of the show, mm-hmm. I mean, the reputation of the, t- the channel and the brand is that. From us, mm-hmm. I'm telling you, maybe outside, you might be right of that because you go click on there's ads on smart devices that just say Tubi. They don't show our movies. Gotcha. Again, this is an algorithm game. Gotcha. So if Whatever we look at nigga shit, they're gonna show you nigga shit. Gotcha. True. Mm-hmm. That makes you're not it. looking at yeah. nigga shit. That it's makes gonna, sense. It'll still show you Tubi, but it'll show you the shit that you look at. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, you you are more of an authority than I, but um, I want to argue with him, but I'm not. I know. I'm just saying the reputation of the channel is such. And Ice could be yeah. right. That's just coming from us because mm-hmm. that's what we. But that's what we hear around. Yeah, that's true. He could be right. Yeah, but that's what makes things pop. I'll stand down. Huh? What? But that what? is what makes things pop. What? Us. Us. Uh, spreading the word. Yeah, but my nigga, if if we you can't give us something we're not looking for. If we don't, if I don't, the algorithm. If it ain't, it's not going to show me the nigga shit if I'm not looking for the nigga shit. Two of my men. I'm, not, I'm not even talking got about two movies on two. Yeah, and I'm they talk, hood movies. I'm talking about in the world. I'm not talking about that. I don't have Tubi, so I can't speak mm-hmm. to it. I have it. But I'm not talking about algorithms. I'm talking about just word of mouth making something pop. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That, I, I agree. Like they take White a bunch people of are not the ones that we hear no, in we real dictate. life saying, 
Two B. There's two B. Two B. Two B. Two B. That's true. I probably have the most white as, friends. As in the room, a presidential white guy. In the room. I don't think I even ever told me about nothing. I know two B. Yeah. <laughs> and and I, I don't know if you have the most white friends. In the room. I might. And personally, I, we I'm know white people from our hood that's putting, putting movies, this. putting their movies on too. And that's the other side of that. Like you don't have to make that kind of. You you get you get what I'm saying. You don't have to make a game. It's a game. That's true. It's a game. Niggas are playing to what we think will be. So, all right, we get. All right, I got an opportunity to put something over here. Okay, let me put this together. It's actually. I want to speak to the hood. Let me put the hood shit on there, and that's who I'm talking to. That's who I'm targeting, and that's what's making it's it actually, pop. Over it's, here. Actually, it's actually genius. If you think it is. It is. It's, it's genius very genius to give people an outlet to promote their hood movies and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and have their friends spread the word. And yeah. we've been spreading the word about Tubi and making fun of. The acting and how it was shot and say how great the storylines is, even though it was bullshit production, mm. for a while. Mm-hmm. It's a great plan that Fox put together, I feel, I can see. And you know I'm that? just saying it with that, oh. it's a small percentage of the catalog that's over there, that's all. No, nah, that's facts. It's probably, I'm sorry, can you stop breathing so loud, honey? He's like, <laughs> <gasps> breathe quietly. Um, <laughs> on, uh, <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's nothing. Pass the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, you was doing good today. We have a great party. <laughs> don't, don't start your shit. You was doing good today, Joe. Oh, man. And Parks, I only asked you that question because on Kill Tony, uh-huh. every white comedian that comes up there, the panel, well, in a few episodes, say, How many black friends do you have? <laughs> and it always stumps the new white comedian. <laughs> <laughs> they always get to like, Three and that's it. I stopped Adam when I said it too. Here. <laughs> How many black friends you got, Parks? Bunch. Good. Too many to count. Parks is, too many to count. Parks is digging in the crate. <laughs> Parks is him. Yeah, he'll call show his AG right now, nigga. Don't tell you man. today's mathematics. Yeah. I, I yeah. want to fuck with him. I, <laughs> peace, I Lord. peace to the God. <laughs> peace to the God. Peace, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so what else is important or unimportant out there? Well, wait, question. Have you guys ever watched um, Better Call Saul? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Love so that show. You know that like six seasons, like 53 nominations, never one single I win. That. I saw that. Really? That's unfortunate. That was wild. That's unfortunate. Yeah. That might be one of the better spinoffs of, of all time. Yeah. At least in drama. It's a spinoff oh, from please. Breaking Bad, just in case anybody yeah, didn't, yeah. didn't know. I was, I was alive for the Susan Lucci run. That don't mean nothing to me. That's a good point. What? <laughs> you too. What? We were alive for the Susan Lucci run. I think it's a you too. Yeah. Uh, when she was just Susan, dominating. Susan oh, Lucci. yeah, right. Susan Lucci was what, 20, 30 uh, years? Yo, or something. It was like 30 it was, years. It was like 38 years or some shit like that. Yeah. Some rant crazy. Did she ever get one? Yeah. Ice, please, like th- with your nigga <laughs> shit, please. I please. think. If you don't know who Susan Lucci, Google it. I think they gave her like an honorary Emmy or something like that. Either ice. Yeah. Some yeah. insulting shit. Oh, you don't yeah. know either? No. I know and why, that's I know why I've been Lucci. <laughs> Jeez, I know. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I, I, I'm, <laughs> hey, yo, I'm trying to go. I'm trying to like blend in. What happened? You niggas said it. Who the she fuck was, is Susan Lucci? Her char- oh, her wait till we get to the next quiz. Her character name. Oh, you should have told me that. <laughs> Erica okay. Kane. Wait till we get to the next Kane quiz. on All My Children, yes. Longest oh, Running. Oh, never so- watched All oh, My Children. Oh. No. No, 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 no. Little Kim, the black Erica Kane. And I bet you know that. I know, yeah, I know the lyrics. I know you know that. That's yeah. what she's talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah. These niggas don't know Salute. shit. A bunch of cultures. There's never much of a, never much of a soap opera. Yeah, sorry, this wasn't my bag. <laughs> it's hard doing a music yeah, podcast. I keep it up on my soaps. Boy. Yeah. Oh, it's a music podcast now, yes? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you, switch the, you, switch, you switch up the podcast all the time. Now. Well, it's not because you don't know music. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you something, nigga. Is it, is it a podcast now? Huh? If, you, are, you, if, are you running a, a tight if, shit? If you knew music, huh? We would be, guess what? Guess what? A music podcast. Hey, you but don't when we music talk your, music, yeah. it's just me, Ice, and Parks. It's your chime in. We uninclude you guys. Y'all become uninvolved, silent. <laughs> oh, yeah. We see you've been watching shit, huh? You're taking all the notes and stuff. <laughs> we see you've been online. No, I just like yeah. to be inclusive, so I know yeah. the spots that everybody kind of acts not inclusive. That's my job. I think Ice is the best when it comes to the music shit. I don't care. I know you don't. <laughs> and, and, don't that's, and that's bad to say, leader. You just discouraged me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What else? What else? Do I want to talk about them bullshit Louis Vuitton Tims. Them shits is ugly as hell. You hiding the Louis Vuitton logo behind the fucking tongue, Pharrell. You my man. 
I don't mind that part. Yeah, I, I kind of like no, it. No, I want to see it. I'm on some nigga shit. Yeah, but, the, but, the way, but when niggas wear it, you're going to see it. I ain't going to hold y'all. Pharrell is absolutely smoking his line. No, he's killing it. Whatever we want to say about the Thames, I don't care because we come from Thames. Mm. So we don't need the fucking $1,500, $1,600 markup on Thames. Leave that for the niggas that want to play like that. The regular good old-fashioned wheat Thames mm -hmm. will always Constructs. be universal for life till death do us part will never go wrong. Mm -hmm. But the rest of that Pharrell shit... Fire. He is going absolutely crazy. I'm even seeing conversations of is the Pharrell line, Louis line, better than the Virgil Louis line, mm. which had hip-hop in a chokehold. Like, he's just... He's killing shit. He is. Mm. I ain't gonna hold you. I just he got that whole the flagship on Fifth Ave. He got that whole shit in a frenzy. There's really? plenty of people going in there looking for the Pharrell shit. It's mad black mm. people true, true. in there gotcha. saying, "Where's this at?" He got camouflage Louis shit. He got he got he's bugging. You okay. can just see his vision. Or That's why I'm on fashion now. Yo, fa fashion is normal people music. Like the people that can't make music, they got to express themselves in in fashion. So like I've been paying attention to it now. And the, the spin that he's putting on some of that shit outside of that million dollar duffel bag is a waste of time, especially after I lost a nigga stole my tune. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no, you, you, you I'm off of that. You're the, you're the but I, I was about to say something extra, but a million never. dollar duffel? Stupid as Oh, no, he's going to find that. Never. Never. Or somebody gonna get found floating. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna find that back. Yo, you crazy. I'm fighting myself not to buy these little Freddy Krueger dunks that cost 40 grand. Wait, I what? Seen, no, I just seen um Day off. Oh, you come oh, here yeah. with some Freddy Krueger dunks, 40 grand does watch what happened, nigga. We will <laughs> jump dunk you. you. <laughs> I'll dunk you, nigga. I'll dunk Yo. you, nigga. The fuck you talking nah, about. They, but why? They just Who showed you think that, you are, nigga? That's why you see he's so slick. That's why he said, "Yo, I was thinking about buying you niggas something." I walked away. He he know how to yo. He doing the old school shit. You be doing. <laughs> oh no! I said I'm getting y'all something. I'm 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 late. I'm getting y'all something for Christmas. It should land around Valentine's Day, but I'm being thoughtful and, about it. And you saw like that, Parks was for me. So that's nice. And you I want to try to do it like specific for each of y'all. But when I went in the mall the other day, boy, that shit was frustrating, man. <laughs> I walked in trying to get everybody gifts. I walked out just annoyed. Like, all right. Let me get, <laughs> Who gift have I'll you gotten so far? Uh, nobody. Nobody's. Okay. Do you know when you... I went to get Park's gift. They nice. ain't have his size and what I was trying to get, which started my frustration. Mm. Then I went to Gucci to get Ish some eyewear because he keeps talking about the eyewear shit, but the pair I like in the little thing, they didn't have it. So I took that as a sign <laughs> to say, okay, I'm going to try these niggas next week. When you, what you went, thought about getting mad? I can't tell, because the first one I had we couldn't probably be taken as insult, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to make it, I want to package it with love. Keep going, mm -hmm. freeze. I want, no, I'm not telling all of y'all. You, you can't no, just... No, I am getting y'all That, that, cause, that gifts, causes division. Will be, no, that causes division with me. you divide it, then who cares? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I'm Yo, last today. year was so great, I don't care if y'all divide it. <laughs> we find a way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, y'all got gifts coming to y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be there. It's not for, to get anything in return. But got you. Got you. Why not, man? I just why found not? out um, from my children that the young niggas these days are wearing ACGs again. They brought them back. That's what's up, man. It always Good. Comes, everything comes back. Good. Yeah. Good. Everything always Kids comes back. Kids is wearing ACGs? I'm not mad. I'm, I'm not, not mad. mad. I'm happy about What black boots is out other than constructions? Yo. I, yo. And constructions fuck up after about a good Damn. week. Facts. These niggas today Sunday, have some all black Sunday. Dior or something. No, Nico came to me and said, Daddy, I want some ACGs. I said, nigga, what? You want some what? <laughs> AC what? What are you talking about? And he said, they wearing them. They showed the top 10 most expensive sneakers. Yesterday, I, 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 I saved it. Yo, the, the, the highest sneaker was uh 1.6 mil. Was that some auctioneer Jordan that yeah, signed they got, or something? Yeah, I was like, what the oh, fuck? Oh, okay, I thought you just meant a sneaker that, okay. They got one of the Kobe's, the Jordan 3's, and the and Laker colors they made specifically for Kobe. Them shits was like 400 grand or some wild shit. So you talking about some $40,000 Freddy Krueger dunks. Freddy better be in my dreams. <laughs> you got your yo, fucking mind, yo. They was fired. You were bugging, yo. They was yeah, fired. Yeah, yeah. Definitely was. <laughs> definitely was. Flip, if I were to get them, I should be able to come in here and wear them to work. Without, Niggas without. will flip you, nigga. <laughs> I will what, flip you. You said you doubt it, Ish? Hmm? He said 1,000%. Oh. I will flip you. 
No, Facts. I'm, I'm about to and let me wear it. Look. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to wear it, nigga. Well, that's the thing. If you were adopting the same ideology, then I wouldn't have to wear them, right? I'm trying to lead by example. None of y'all niggas want to get dressed for work, especially you. <laughs> y'all niggas dress like it's a laundry mat day. <laughs> hey, uh, Don't worry, but I'm going to put you off camera in a minute. Then hey, you're going to uh, be mad. Hey, uh, you're going to oh, no, 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 no. Because you dress like laundry day. So nah, you don't you take pride. I know what it is. You don't take pride in that hoodie. Come on, man. People are watching. People are watching. What'd you say? No, 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 no. Just because you come with these Daffy Duck, Scrooge McDuck, Big Bird shoes, this stupid ass outfit. A Reddit outfit, nigga. Nigga. These are Ugg socks. Nobody, yeah. Don't fuck me up, Reddit outfit, nigga. Write it down. Ugg socks with socks on, nigga. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? Just because you got them bullshits on, that don't mean nothing, nigga. Those niggas are idiots. What type of socks is on? You got You got me. You got me, nice. Yeah. Right, you got me just now. Yeah. Better change the direction, I'm nigga. Don't come here. Change the direction. I don't want to smoke. I don't want to smoke. For 2024, I don't want to smoke. Yeah. You should want smoke from me because I'm bringing it all. Speaking of me not wanting smoke in 2024, uh, I want to wrap my good sister Ari Lennox in warmth, love, and prayer. Uh, I want to wish her the strength to overcome any obstacle that may stand before her. I want to wish her the confidence to never waver in a bright moment. Uh, what else do we want to prove? You're doing well. Keep going. All oh, seriously. I am serious. Yeah, yeah, you're doing good. What else do I want to wish for Ari Linux, man? I just want to send love her way. In an industry that historically has not been great to women, now is not the time for any woman out there to feel like they are under attack, unheard, or not seen. And if I've ever added to that, then I want to do my best to change the trajectory. So shout out to Ari Lennox. Shout out to Ari. I'm going to put my shoe back on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's probably the problem. Yeah. Let's go. Well, shout out to Ari. Uh, <laughs> Anybody you want to cover in love and light? Oh. Ari, um, That's I just was wondering what prompted what prompted that you just reflection. He was accountability, re accountability, reflection. He was decided since twenty twenty four. Yeah, I know that many of y'all didn't believe that I was done punching down and just getting into frivolous shit for the sake of content or the betterment of content, but mm -hmm. couldn't be further from the truth. I want to try to set a new example in 2024. Ish inspired me with that whole, I'm not firing at niggas. I like that shit. I'm trying to get my old nigga back to that part, but <laughs> that's, that's my, I don't that no, when it's time to fire, you're fired. But I don't think this was one of those instances. I did, however, I did see what, I did see what she had to say. In response. In response to what I had to say, I did. Um, uh, she says... What did she say? She says uh, she's thinking about suing me. Okay. Though she did not hear what I had to say. Hmm? Let me be the first. She said that she is willing to blow the 20K on this suit, even though by her own admission, she used the Rod Wave tour money to catch up on bills. And that was a tour that she was not happy to be on. She also attempted to demean and defame a black man mm. while summoning the powers universally of black women while simultaneously bigging up a white man who fetishizes. Mm. All on Martin Luther King Day. Ooh, disgusting. So sometimes, if you're listening out there, when you travel first class, the stewardess will come and bring you a bag of cashews. Sometimes she'll come and bring you just a bag of almonds. But in that other instance, she's going to come and offer you a bag of mixed nuts. You guessed it. This chick is a bag of fucking mixed nuts. Mixed nuts come from everywhere. You don't know where the nuts 
this, this, this nuts is from the internet. It's from the West Coast, the East Coast. It's from the junk drawer. <laughs> this bitch is all the nuts combined. And I think she's done a great job of proving the exact point that I was trying to make in the last broadcast. And we shower her with love. Turn around. Hey, yo, what just happened? Turn you see what you started? <laughs> Turn around. What? Turn around. Right eye. Turn around. All right. All right. You got it. You got it. That was loud fire. Yeah, I didn't think that. I didn't think that. I didn't think that. I was coming in here with a football helmet. To give, oh, that, to give that take. But I didn't see the need to further try to humiliate, embarrass, or defame a black woman on my platform. And some of my peers could probably take a page out of that book. Do you think you were defaming her, though? You gave an opinion. I think your opinion was valid. We, we, you know, and I don't want to repeat it or regurgitate it. I said what I said. She said what she said. At this point, my name is Bennett, and I'm not in it. Okay. Don't give yourself false uh, titles. Oh, false actions. Sorry. You didn't defame her. But okay, salute. What else we got? What else we got going on? Well, we talked about the Emmys. Grammys is up next. Yo, leave me alone. <laughs> I, I'm trying to get away from this. <laughs> Niggas, it's crazy, y'all. <laughs> Who? This guy. Yeah. You good, good boy. <laughs> Grammy's up next. Mm -hmm. And we hear that Puff turned down the Puff Grammy Puff has invite. turned down his Grammy invite that they kind of rescinded. Anyway. Say, Why do we know? Him. Why do we know that? Publicist. Spirit, yeah. Spiritual uh, healer. Got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Same way well, you know everything else. Shut up. We know because somebody wanted us to know. Exactly. Uh -huh. That's all it was. But we already knew before that person wanted us to know, we could have told them, hey, Puff ain't He's coming not to Grammy. Yeah. We could have told them that. And they threw in there, despite being nominated for a Grammy for the first time in however many years. Yeah, it don't it, matter. It don't matter, bro. I don't expect to see Puff till 2030. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, you could have you uh, gave the publicist a month off. Yeah. It's cool. Then they mm. put the other report, him and Diageo. Have resolved that. Well, no, he. Well, they, they he, dropped. They dropped. He dropped his lawsuit against them. So now, and he's, they they dropped whatever it was. They, everybody just dropped it. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Keep me far away from the news, bro. Mm. That's mm. it. Mm. Twenty thirty it. sounds about right. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Twenty six. <laughs> now, was so. another thing I will say is weird. Speaking of Grammys, um, I did see a commercial during. I guess it was one of the football games or something. They were going crazy. There was like Super Bowl commercials during them shits. Did they list all the performers? Because usually it's like it's hyped around the performer. I only saw three. Oh, I didn't see the Grammy commercials. I just thought you were talking about commercials. No, I'm talking about the, I was talking about the Grammys in particular. Taco usually had like a three-hour block. Or three minute list, block in one of them shits. You know, with performances by boom, 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 yeah. boom. It looked light this year. Who was uh who was listed out of curiosity? You remember? Dua Lipa. Okay. And that's the one that's the, that's the one that okay. stood out for me. Okay. <laughs> Big Dua Lipa fan. Yeah, I yeah. I can see that for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. music is great. Yeah. yeah. You like the Lipa? <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's talented. Very, very talented. Um, that's yeah, the only one you remember, remember from No, that's all. That's it. Oh, I'm just asking yeah. if y'all... I'm sure there'll be more performers than that. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's coming up, though. It is. It is. Couple couple weeks. It's usually like right after Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. so, okay. I was seeing if y'all noticed it as well. That was it. I didn't. Did not. But I'm sure they were just teasing some. There'll be more. Dog. Playing my sleeper. Dog. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all good. I get another one. I'll cut it off. I'll no, no, cut no. It off. no, no, no. Let it rock. I'm going to give him a couple bars, though. He should have spelled his name on this. F A B O L O A. That's the pocket I need for having balls. I need week. Fab to take all of the fire slow R&B joints and just soul tape them shits out mm -hmm. and just get at chicks. <laughs> <laughs> I just need... I, rapping Fab, y'all know how yeah, I feel already. Like, I ain't got to say it. And I like Fab throwing in a little hate because I don't. we don't know Fab to be like, you got me looking at your exes like, you really like that? 
Yeah, fab. Right. yeah, fab. She does. That's what she like, man. Mm-hmm. She does, and you gotta see the new nigga she with. <laughs> <laughs> Slaps me. <laughs> anyway, yo, this is fire. That's all. That's all that's I had all, to say. I didn't have a long deep dive, but that's the bag. I like my fab in, and I can't wait to hear more of that. Mm-hmm. Love mm. it, love it. Keep it going, man. Every week, like right, go fab. It's different. The family. Yeah. What else? 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 I'm watching the uh, news last night, and then I fell asleep. So when I woke up, the news was on some like American shit. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, oh that. Uh. When I woke up, they was on some. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> And they start talking about the presidential election for some uh, reason. The Iowa caucus. The, caucus. the uh, Iowa and the caucus. Right? In the caucus. The <laughs> Iowa in the caucus. Yep. Mm-hmm. And them niggas were like, oh, Trump's got a big lead in Iowa, and the second place person has 14%. So he's killing Iowa. And if he gets momentum here and wins, then he'll go to North Dakota with the momentum behind him and sweep out there. I was like, it's always the fucking Dakotas. We never hear about the Dakotas until there's some fuck shit going on. Yeah. Uh, Trump is back. Uh, I didn't know that he was back. I thought he was arrested. I thought he had charges, <laughs> indictments. He grabbed pussies. He did all. He did everything. Insurrection. Uh-huh. He did everything you could do. And he still got a firm grip on the Iowa caucus. <laughs> Man, if they don't give us Bill Cosby back. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's home. Back. Yeah, they gave him back. He's home. Oh, then give us R. Kelly back. <laughs> Give niggas back. If Trump could do all this shit and still run, and we still trust him to run the country, half the people in Iowa said, if he's convicted, we still want him to run the More country. Than More than half. More than half. It was seven right? out of ten people in Iowa said that the conviction would not matter. They still trust him to run the country. So my mm-hmm. question to y'all is, because Trump is coming. Remember, like, Nas is coming? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Trump is coming. Trump is coming. Trump is coming, and I'm conflicted. <laughs> he was up. He was giving us bread. I'm a little conflicted. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Hey, let me let me preface all of this with politics is not my bag. In case you're surprised, refer to the tag in the beginning, man. Politics is not my bag, but I know that niggas starved while Biden was here. Damn, I sound like an elitist now. Trump will come in, give all of, all of y'all, y'all $1,100 for y'all to go to Gucci while he steals the real war budgets and all the other shit going on. That, that ain't, he's going to get some money. The, the financial part of America is going to turn, is going to turn again. It will. Mm-hmm. Now, who do black people have to run against him? <laughs> Nobody. Nigga, is Rihanna still have, pregnant? Who we ever <laughs> had to run? <laughs> Rihanna pregnant still fucking ASAP fucking up the country. <laughs> The Rock. The Rock. Go, yeah. They talk about The Rock. You're going to go back to Old Faithful. Now, they was waiting to see if The Rock was on the, the, the thing. Because <laughs> if you're on the thing, you can't do that then. You can't do that. But why if Trump can run? Trump killing. What do you think about that, Ish? The Rock is on the what? <laughs> he was waiting to see if he was on the Trump list. coming back. When is this presidency shit? Next year. Next year, right? Mm-hmm. 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 So that means this year they're going to start their marketing album Wait, rollout. What you mean? Actually, this, 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 this year. This year. They just started. It's 24. It's November. 24. Election. Oh, so this is it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 24. It's the year. Oh, man. <laughs> he waited and popped out on the top of the year. Oh, somebody is talking to Biden's hospice right now. <laughs> you think they own? Um... <laughs> somebody is, hey, get his hospice out here. We have a message to convey. What? Get his hospice out here? Yo, what are you talking <laughs> about? When hospice show up, times is grim. I, I really, honestly, uh, we in a fucked up spa- state. If those are our two picks, it's bad. It's it's bad, bro. Same, like, it's, same as before. It's bad before. Is Trump that was is Trump that bad? Like, come on, man. He wasn't good. Oh, he's a bigot. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> I mean, but if we you knew remove we, that to the side. We knew what he yeah. was when he you came in. The bigotry out. Of it. He, we oh, knew so a lot of bigots. We yeah. knew yeah. what he was. Voted for him. We knew it. No, black people I'm voted for him too. Of, yo, listen. Black people mm-hmm. voted for Trump. Yo, my my man got a new house, right? Look, no lie, my man got a new house. Cite your source. Corey, no, Corey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. CIS, so, so please. Yo, I'm saying my man, yo, yo, right? Just let him land. CYS. CYS. So I go look at the house, right? It's in a, it's in a remote area in New Jersey. 
So I call a nigga on the phone. I said, yo, you know what you got yourself into? He said, what you mean? I just started taking pictures, sending it to him. The car across the street, literally in the back of the car, has a picture this big of Trump on the back oh, window. Shit. It looked like he's sitting in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'll just show you the picture, yo. Show me. Look. Next, the, the truck right in front of me, mm. try that in a small town. Oh. Trump 2024. Oh. Yo, Trump let make oh, America regrate against, they got a new slogan. Oh, shit. Look, then we got another Trump flag on the side of this house. Trump DeSantis flag on the side of this house. I told Corey, I said, yo, you in for some shit when you doing this rehab. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, though. We got to start thinking about Man. niggas is out here trying to buy real estate yo, and land. In these Can't areas, we? bruh, trust you me. You absolutely right about that. I told that nigga, yo, fam, you, you, you got some shit on your hands. You gonna be fucking around in here doing some plumbing. These niggas come here. We heard a noise. Bow. <laughs> <laughs> doing around these parts, boy. Boy, what? Yeah, yeah. but nah, Corey could fight. And if not, I'll try to Woodbridge and help. Woodbridge? Uh, I, I don't want to <laughs> I know. say it. I know. <laughs> we wasn't in Woodbridge. I know. We was in I know where y'all was at. He all. <laughs> 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 <Yo, laughs> fam, I'm telling you, y'all, we playing around. So I follow some page that <laughs> just goes to all the Trump rallies mm -hmm. and and just says some condescending shit. Okay. <laughs> Never surrender? That's right. And that's from when he surrendered and got his mugshot taken? Yes, it is. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And that's from when he surrendered and got his mugshot taken? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> got the shirt on. It ain't funny. <laughs> the, we got the shirt on with the window. Listen. <laughs> Never surrender? Right. And that's from when he surrendered and got his mugshot taken. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. Bruh, don't be funny. <laughs> All right, wait, hold on. All right, last one. Gun free zones. Wait, so it's m more guns. Yep. Can't fight fire with water. You gotta fight fire with fire. What? what? Wait, wait. Fight fire with water? <laughs> uh, hold up. Depends on what's in the fire. Yo! <laughs> you do fight fire with water. Yeah. <laughs> See? No. It be them. Yo, I yeah. love these pages. <laughs> Yo, the wife that's down be funny. They be humorous wife. <laughs> yeah. Is that does that say never surrender? Bruh. Is that from when he surrendered? Yup. And they be like, yup. <laughs> Yo, y'all playing around. We told the story too many times of us being on tour in Florida uh -huh. during the election. Pensacola. 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 A lot of pickup trucks mm -hmm. with the brolic whites. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Them no, whites no out there, the, the, the whites that farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whites that hunt. That too. That's the ones. I'm serious. They walk around with camo on Man, all day. I hit a squirrel from 30 paces. What you think they're going to do black ass? <laughs> No, we, that's why we, we got switches. The white people got switches? No. No. They got accuracy. But they got accuracy. <laughs> yeah. They have military sniper training. They move all the space. Look, that, veterans for Trump. They got, was, they they got a new... They texting you? Yeah. <laughs> He's down with them niggas. Wait, what, wait, Trump. wait, wait, wait. You taking this white shit a little too far. Wait. wait. You taking this white shit You taking to... this crack barrel, barrel <laughs> cracker <laughs> thing <laughs> too far. Yo, dog. I told Corey, like, you think I'm playing... They got a new slogan, Save America Again, Trump 2024. That's the new slogan. Oh, man, we need Def Jam to come. We need, we need somebody with some marketing. We need, we need a plan. We need a publicist. Rick Rubin. <laughs> yeah, we need somebody. We need somebody. Yo, the Beastie that, that, Boys. Some... Yo, somebody. Mm -mm. This nigga truck says, Trump gonna try win. that in a small town. I think Trump gonna win. I think so, too. Yeah, I think so, too. I think he's gonna win. I think so. We don't have a candidate. Yeah, though. No. Mm -mm. They can't even walk. You like, think he run again? What? Oh, uh, Biden. He's going to run again. He's going to run again. It don't matter. But it don't matter. Yeah. No, he it matters. He ain't getting back. If you had somebody coherent as he a quality candidate, in. then... It, I'm I saying him honestly, running. I, what I thought was going to happen, I thought he was going to announce him not running and... And let, come out and, and let her run. Thought about that, too. That's what I mm -hmm. thought. Thought about that, too. Man, Trump won the Iowa caucus. Yeah. <laughs> Trump won <laughs> <or> Iowa. <laughs> He's going crazy out here. Look, you don't even care. You're not even down because you're half white. Oh, shit. Lots she didn't know what that's like. Oh, dude, you got a horse in both races. <laughs> Did you make Yo, a while, Oh, and real quick, while we was talking about the Emmy shit, I, I forgot, I wanted to highlight RuPaul, who I had no idea is was the winningest reality show host in all of Emmy history with like 15. Oh, wow. 
Who the fuck knew that about RuPaul? Yeah. Salute. I, Salute. Yeah. I had that on my list. You didn't hit it for some reason. I, we guys started no, 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 talking. That, I anticipated you slipping, skipping some of the black over. excellent stuff. Nigga stomped all over the no. list. Yeah, I bet. Leave yeah, her alone. Yeah, that's it. John. She tried. she tried. I saw her. She tried. Yeah. Yo, Flip. Uh-oh. Watch your mouth, yo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, I saw a live that you was on. And you was talking to somebody from Jersey. A little reckless. I'm just letting you know you can't do that to, to big Jersey, bro. No, they straightened them up. Who straightened me up? I was in that live. They straightened him up. They never straightened me up, nigga. I'm from Queens, nigga. They who, straight, who he spoke to? They straightened him right on up. <laughs> quick. Quick fat, fast. I was on my fat boy. Mm-hmm. Quick uh, fast. About a boxing match. Yeah, on Gilly Live. But they ain't, ain't, ain't nothing straightened up. I'm out here now, nigga. It's my city, too. Who, who what? Wait, wait, he where? said that, too. Yeah. Yo, this is my state now. Yeah, whatever it is. I'm I out here. I checked him the next day. Yo, watch your yeah. fucking tone. You, I mean, you said that, but I ain't listening to you, nigga. I just thought it was my old uncle rambling. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were drunk, man. <laughs> Sounds like a drunk. <laughs> hey, I'm him. Uh, I'm him. Got something to say about that? Or you stand with me? I don't. Which one? What are you answering? I don't stand with you. <laughs> and I don't have anything to say. So that protects me in not standing with you. You better gotcha. keep your little suburban ass up here. Go ahead down the... Yeah, yeah, come on. Come come on. Over there. I would have thought Fat Boy would be on the list of niggas that you don't want to no smoke with. Why not? I just would have thought that. Ray J tried to put me and Fat Boy boxing match together. Don't name drop another nigga. We talking about you and Fat Boy. Yeah. Don't he try been trying to bring he up he another been, nigga with some And he came right on and let you know immediately. Like, what well, you know. Mm-hmm. Nigga. I saw it. I'm Fat Boy lost a lot of weight, too. He did. He did. He, did. he did. he did. He did. He got made it perfectly right. clear what right. happened. Shout out to Fat Boy. That's my brother. Now, but there you out. go. There you nah, go. Nah, I'll fix Fat Boy. Shout out Winky Wright. I'll fix Fat Boy. I'll fix all you niggas. Shout out Winky Wright. And fix all you niggas like how you niggas left me. There you go. All you niggas abandoned me. Right in the snap box. Yeah. I know, change the, ch- change the subject. Subject changes. Oh, let me mute up. Yeah. Well, who, well, how we left you? Clear it out for him. You niggas left me hanging, man. You niggas really out here got these motherfuckers believing that I, I, I'm corny enough to intentionally wear some socks to get at my sister, nigga. None of you niggas defend me. You there putting stupid fishes up. She's the only one that, hold on, she's the only one that I would, <laughs> she's the only one that I would accept anything from. The white man that pointed it out, nobody judged him or said anything. Like, I would come here, I've been wearing them socks for a fucking long time with a whole outfit to it, and you motherfuckers didn't even defend Flip. Like, now nah, Flip ain't gonna do that. You niggas actually, actually allow this disgusting narrative to play out about a nigga that you around that I would do some fruity, skittle, strawberry, starburst shit like that. Go. How many pairs of socks you got in your crib? A lot of white ones and a lot of black ones. How many pairs of socks you got in your crib with somebody's face on them? Uh, seven. So you could have wore any of the other socks, right? Yes. So you chose to put them socks on and bring them in here on camera, right? Nigga, bring them in. Yo, stop playing. I had I'm fucking sweats you, on. I'm asking. I didn't bring them here on camera. So you so, can't say so, that, but I chose to wear them, yes. So then you made that conscious decision. No. You gotta live with that. And I and nobody, I ex- nobody told you to yo, flip I accept all that bullshit, but I, I want my brother and sister to defend me like not flipping. Defend. What is there to defend? Yeah, I defend it. Somebody attacked you? <laughs> that's why he wore the socks. So he, no, man. I don't know nothing about uh, that. That's why I wore the socks. I, I, let me get oh, at you. Shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Oh, you see, you see, you see. Oh, I'm happy. Oh, yeah, shit. yeah. The problem is, you old niggas don't. Uh, you old uh, niggas don't. don't, don't you, you old niggas lack leadership. All you old niggas in here lack leadership. So I'm supposed to call you and say, now nah, let me talk about socks. it. All you old niggas in here lack leadership. All you do is maim, make fun of, and poke fun of because I'm a nigga that will stand on the line of fire and take shots for this fucking podcast, nigga. I'm the nigga that'll play the bad guy, and all you niggas can't it fucking take a little bit of fucking, a, a little bit of fucking. Uh, peace and love for Flip and put it out there like and, and represent me well. I take all the shots. Mm-hmm. But don't make me like some type of sucker shit. And we know Tippy Toe Johnson over here preserve relationships. <laughs> we know we know fucking light skin hope preserve. We oh, everybody does it. Whoa 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 whoa. whoa. Oh, light skin hope chill. I'm not done. Everybody <laughs> <Light skin> hope. <laughs> everybody does it. But when it come to flip, I barely wear socks. I look crazy. <laughs> I don't even know the only person about. I accept shit from is my sister. That's why I'm ordering a hundred socks with her face on it, nigga. Seems I'm going to wear it. I'm wearing a jersey. I told her coming here with the, with the, with the pink well, that's still your sister, and huh? pink bandana. Yeah, I love her. That's my peoples. She said, oh, you, she texted me. Oh, you can't see. All right, I'm sure. Oh, she flipped on me. <laughs> she was shout salute. See, that's why I really was going to go. Good to have brothers, man. I'll tell you that. But y'all niggas, you hold me down, nigga. It's good to have brothers. Hold me down. You got to hold me down. Hey, Flip. 
Cause you, no, I ain't gonna do I it. I don't even know what he talking about. <laughs> I'm dead ass. Of course you're gonna do it. And people like when you do that. I don't know. To discredit me. <laughs> oh, man. People I like when you do that. Yo, flip, crack, you, flip. Yo, inform. This can never crack me, nigga. Inform me. Fuck this nigga. <laughs> this is his birthday. Fuck him. He <laughs> can never do that. Inform. I'm saying that my brothers uh-huh. should defend the fact that I wouldn't do some bird shit like that by wearing a pair of fucking socks to disrespect Melissa Ford. Point blank, period. Defend me, nigga. Y'all niggas been around me. Y'all know how I carry it, and no, I'm no, very no, vocal. Don't touch me. me. I'm, I'm very totally vocal. against them goofy socks. Well, that's just me. I didn't even true, know. You, no, 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 hold true. On, hold on. I but you still could defend me. Who, I didn't know you Never. got attacked to defend you. I was in yeah. there throwing up the fist <laughs> <laughs> while they were attacking him. <laughs> that's fine. They were like, saying everything I couldn't say. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I got a question for you. Yo, what? Oh, shit. Nigga, yo, let me check. No, no, hold on, hold on. Nigga, you motherfucker. Let me tell you something. Nigga, I watch you up here. Protect relationships by telling Parks, yo, 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 oh, before we leave, yo, yo, let me, yo, yo, y'all good? Let me go back to your park. I, I stay right there by the door and listen. Yo, take that yo, up. We're going to put that behind the paywall. Well, fuck out of here, nigga. You protecting ass nigga. Don't pick and choose with me. I take the shots, but defend me. I don't protect yo, nobody. No, 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 let me ask you a question. I have a question. Let me just talk yeah, to the audience. Yeah, talk to them. I, I don't protect anybody that said they used to lend me their clothes. What do you mean by that? What about lending clothes? A nigga was being funny. If I had my shades on right now. A nigga was being was. funny, nigga. I fucking posted the <laughs> screenshot and you and you wrote a comment under the screenshot that I posted when we had the conversation when the nigga said I begged. Let's talk about that. I posted the screenshot of the conversation in 2018 of how I obtained it and you commented under it to be funny to, to, to pander to the fans, nigga. You can't fuck with me, nigga. God. This is the name. Nigga, you duck this thing. Let's you duck your man. Uh, Once uh, you duck that nigga out of fear, y'all niggas can't say nothing to me, nigga. That's true. Nothing. Uh, and I'm outside. We got such a great part of the show for you. No, 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 no. I got a question. My fault. Oh, God damn it. You protect relationships, right? I do. And you say you defend you your too, sister. and your brother. Oh, you protect oh, oh. your brothers too. My brother can handle. Trust me. All right, well, but um, you protecting them. You defending them up here. I, I'm always going to stand with my brother. Oh yeah, That's, even if he do wrong, something wrong or say something crazy, you defend him. No, I don't defend but him. I can get I'll, you say, right. I'll say he won the battle when he lost. I'll say. Yeah, that. tell me, tell me. Okay, you say that's your sister, right? Of course, of course. That's so what I say. Okay, and that's how I feel. And you have the relationship. Would you have you protected your sister? With who? No further questions, Your Honor. With who? Don't worry about it. We of good. course I did. Okay. Y'all niggas ain't outside. Y'all niggas is inside. I'm all going to inside. secret ass clubs. I'm and fucking, you. I'm y'all niggas ain't outside, nigga. Deep y'all niggas inside. don't be outside yeah, in the yeah, hood in the field. Nope. You be and house. you niggas can't pressure me to go. Y'all niggas, that's weak. I'm not pressuring you. Y'all can't nothing. bully me, nigga. Suck my dick to whoever. Not to y'all. Y'all my oh, man. Yeah, I, know I don't talking. talk to y'all niggas like that. But fuck them niggas. At this point, I'm, they didn't sell her underwear, right? <laughs> oh shit! So, look, I, you, gotta, <laughs> you ain't get the bundle. You went to Uniqlo. <laughs> you, you, that nigga went got the bundle. I didn't buy that. It was given to me with a pair of sneakers for free and an outfit, nigga. A Reebok shit. I wore them a lot of times. Listen, I have a great party. Yeah, let's get the part of the show, man. Yeah, yeah, y'all nervous. Yeah. They nervous when it come to me. No, and no. this Ooh. is from. Uh, you sound crazy. <laughs> this is from Yugi or U G Y U G I. Big U G. And UG UG? says, what's up, fellas and male? Hi. Shout yep. out to y'all. Here's my question. In mending friendships, how or what methods do you go about returning to the point or situations where the friendship was broken to begin with? I understand that things will be different, but for example, let's say that you and a friend started a business together and he skimmed money on the side and you both decide to put it behind you and considerable time goes by with nothing but trustworthy actions from that person. And another business opportunity presents itself. Mm-hmm. Excluding contracts. I look forward to hearing your opinions. Ice is in particular. We seem to have a lot in common when it comes to standing our ground. So let me not waste time. Um, I'm not. Uh, he said outside of contracts, it wouldn't be nothing else. Mm-hmm. Like, fool me once. I'm, I'm not getting in business. With, I don't care how much I trusted you up to this point to even go into business with you the first time. And you 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 did some fuck shit. Okay, we got past it. We cool. We back to wherever, you know, I trust you again, but I also learned from that previous mistake too. I'm not getting into business with you again, probably ever, but if I did, it would ha- I would absolutely make sure I'm protected. I would be insulated properly the second time around. Yeah, that's I it. I agree. I agree. Now, this person mm-hmm. could possess a unique set of skills to whereas your business furthers doing it this way. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I'm not just going to close the door on the second opportunity, but I'm going to watch with a different eye. Mm-hmm. For sure. 
Again, I, I'm, I'm a firm believer in you can do business with people that you ain't all the way right with. I, I you can agree. be protected yeah. in, 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 on the business aspect of it. So We can do business. I don't mean we got to fuck with each other at all. It's good business yeah, is good business at the end true. of the day. So, Yuji, if you feel like this person is an asset, then it's risk assessment at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it. Anybody else mm -hmm. with this? I'll stand mm -hmm. with that. Yeah. Stand yeah. With yeah. Y'all kind of. Echo my thoughts. Sentiments. Yeah. yeah. If we said it first, it's not an echo. <laughs> I said my thoughts. Well, we can hear your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Stop playing with my man. Stop playing my man yeah. like that. He's so arrogant that if we say it first, y'all yeah, echoed <laughs> my brilliance just now. <laughs> so shocked of you guys to have come to the same idea as me. <laughs> Yo, he's the greatest. Yeah, my mom funny, called me and son. said, yo, dog, I don't never play a game show again on that podcast. <laughs> my mom called me and said, yo, I cut that shit right the fuck off. I That's your little it. game and knock it off. <laughs> like, she don't care about creative freedom. <laughs> Damn. 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 The point of the game show is for somebody to, to know some of the shit. You win. The last like, time we played a game show, y'all smoked we it. We kicked it. Well, so look, why would I try to of, do that look again? Look at the type of questions. Your questions were hard. They were hard. They were Nigga, like, I didn't even know how to Google some of them shit. shit. <laughs> Go home and look the answers up. Yo. So when we come back, when we finish the game show, mm -hmm. I will try to put it down to medium. <laughs> Please. Pause. And we'll add a lifeline. Wait, what was your questions like? They we'll add like, a lifeline. Nigga, it was what music was the restaurant? No. What was the restaurant that then the boys in the hood? Doughboy and them killed homeboy at? Oh, I wow. remember that. What was it was not Roscoe's. Eat Roscoe's. See, we were wrong. Eat a burger. Eat a burger. It was, it was some fake shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, that's a good question. Though. What was the last sentence uttered by the killer before Nino Brown was murdered? Nino Brown. Nino Brown. Nino Brown. Rock a bye. Corey, go back to DC or wherever you was at, man. <laughs> that nigga said, um, adult, 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 adult turd? Yeah, a dollar Yeah, old nigga, no. <laughs> <laughs> a dollar oh. turd! <laughs> when the old dude shot him. Yeah. yeah. Wait, Remember let me that? find the answer because I don't mm. want to ask was the it? question without. No, he said more. No. He did. I'm telling you, I wrote it down. He did. I wrote it down. I watched it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see? Those are good questions, though. Yeah. They're hard. Though. They're Idolater, hard, yeah. your soul is required in hell. Oh, your soul is required. That's the right. And then Ice T put his glasses see, on. Do y'all feel like that's a tough was, question? It yeah. is. Yeah. That's a very it tough no, that wasn't. The other question is harder than that. How about that? But y'all made me that. You said the minister. Can y'all acknowledge the part where y'all made me mad? No. How? Who knows when they make you mad? Exactly, nigga. Well, I know, but how do they do it? <laughs> One day I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna just. Cut, I'm old school. I'm going back to Park's house, and we're just gonna work on like a pod. What, what was the minister society question? All they do is throw me under the bus. How you? <laughs> all, all yeah, I'm going to Park's all, house and all work all on the bus. do is throw me under the I bus. I never throw you under the bus, bro. All you do is throw us under the bus. Mm. The minister society question was which city was... Uh, oh, we, yeah, knew we, we knew that one. We knew that one. It was Atlanta. No, you you knew it, but they didn't Me, know. Uh, we knew yeah. that. Yeah, I knew that. What, okay. that uh, but he what, thought I'm reading really over the questions I didn't get to. <laughs> guys, shoot was shoot a few. Give us one. Uh, uh, he got Bad Bobby appeared. Bad Bobby, whatever name is, appeared on Dr. Phil and was an instant hit after Bad saying, Bunny. Cash Me, not Bad Bunny. Cash Bad Me, Bunny cash outside. Me outside. Mm -hmm. What was, she, oh, this was a two part bonus question. What was she there for and who was she talking to? She was talking to an audience, audience member. She was she talking about to an audience member. Fighting her mother. She was there for she fighting her yeah, mother. Her mom's brought it in. See, and she was talking to an audience member. not yeah. that hard. That wasn't that That's hard. That's Y'all smoked that. Omarion went viral in 2012 when he danced his way on stage during a Rick Ross, Ross performance at what award show? BT Hip Hop Show. Look, it ain't that hard. That's the right answer. Yeah, read the ones you read on the air. Well, y'all y'all wasn't picking the easy one. Oprah famously gifted cars to her audience members, but she received backlash why? Because it was number white people in the audience? No. Oh, my bad. Because you had to pay taxes on the cars. Bingo. Yeah, don't tell I me didn't my know, shit is I too I just hard. knew that from my own brain. But, but I you didn't. gave away cars. Man, shut up, yo. And you gave away. And you gave and, Well, and you, you bought it, but you still gave oh. away. You Oprah. You still you won't tell us what the make and model is. You so Oprah. Next, so next point. Next Ice Pro. You point. get a car. He bought his girl a car. Ice Pro. Next point. Next point. <laughs> next point. You know what I mean? Yeah, next point. Yeah, that's it, man. Nah, that's just, he, he reading easier questions, though. No yeah, yeah, they were tough. Definitely. They were tough. No bull. The TGIF for, um, lineup that Family Matters. Who the fuck knows? Oh, Name the was, other three shows. There was um, Family, uh, Full House. No, you don't get to do it no, now. No, that fucking episode. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. No, but do it. Go ahead. Just answer that one. 
You know, oh, it's family, it. Mad- family Matters, Full House, and um, there's four shows. <laughs> Damn, You're not going to get the last yeah, one. Not, yeah, not the, the next third two. one is Perfect Strangers. Really? Perfect Strangers was on at the run yeah. the same time? Exactly. Yes. Don't be a Perfect, way to, Perfect Strangers debuted in like 86. Don't yeah. be a dick. The joint with Balky and... Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, shit. But and the, the last, last one you'll one never get. was just Boys the 10 of us. Like, who the fuck who remembers what that show shit? Was that? Me. I do. Because when they canceled that, that Step by Step came on. And when Step by Step got canceled, Dinosaurs came on. And I when remember dinosaurs, dinosaurs came on. Some I was outside shit. getting some box when dinosaurs went off. Because <laughs> you're a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> step by step. I was learning step by step how to get box, nigga. And, and never forgot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> never never oh. forgot either, boy. Yo, you was, technically, you was getting box when Thundercats was out. Yes. yes. Oh, he was definitely fucking when Thundercats was out. Space goes coast to coast, all that bullshit. Wait. Gargoyles. Yo. Yes. When you look, when you said when yes. you, you he's 48. That's five years older than me. No. Yes. That's, that's nasty. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> and he I started fucking crazy. when he was 11 or some shit, so. That's what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> we're going to start the Patreon, but Amani, last time you were here, y'all niggas got the swag surfing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Park's bum ass team made us have to look at white people swag surfing. And I think that if you didn't save them, the white people would have beat their swag surf. Oh, shit. I agree. Shut up, Joe. <laughs> Taylor Swift would have killed y'all if Amani didn't get up and do that shit. To that, you say what? I say fuck out of here. That's all. I ain't gonna lie. We would have bodied it if all of us would have got up and did it. Come on, there gotta be some moments where we can put our cool down. It ain't about cool, cool, nigga. We old. It's like the get nigga, up. I'm nigga. old too. No, shut up. You weigh 112 pounds. Word, <laughs> nigga. I, you, I weigh you, probably 20 pounds less than you. No, you don't. Then who? Nigga, you need to lose some weight there. <laughs> 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 you did not weigh 20 pounds less than me, nigga. Come no, on. You weigh at 50 that, pounds on. less than me. Come nigga. on, my nigga. We, we could have. Flip, you was doing it on the couch. We could have got it yeah. together. Y'all could have did a little better now. Yeah. And now Boosie is fucking clout chasing, trying to challenge. Taylor Swift to a swag surf off. And his swag surf look a little. Uh, look a little they killed that shit in white people. Nigga swag surf. Yeah, white people fucked that up. <laughs> they killed it good or killed it no, bad? No, it was bad. They, no, it went, They looked like they was in a uh, paddle boat. <laughs> no, it didn't. It didn't look bad. They didn't swag to surf and they don't have that. <laughs> yeah. Play the record. <laughs> I'm not playing the right. Liar, son. They, yeah, Yo. that's what they look like. They look horrible. We need, we, I ain't gonna lie. We need a redo. Oh, At some point, man. we need a redo. Yeah. When everybody oh, got their energy so right, yes. we wouldn't even got there if Ish wouldn't have brought his lies to a broadcast. Mm. Well, I'm telling you, I was in there. We wasn't talking, so I was looking at you. <laughs> what the? F- I'm telling you, First I was looking all, at Vern. Is here. Oh he could test. What, what I looking at him? Listen, I was looking at you. Listen, you never swag, sir. So You're wrong. Huge. Joe do look but, like the nigga I'm, who's so watching to see if his right? ex friend yeah. is having fun. He's like, he's like, <laughs> like, Let me explain something to you. I was looking right at Dodo head. Listen to this. I you was, was standing two niggas beside you. wasn't swag, sir. Joe, you wasn't he's, he's by like, me. He's like this. He was Ish, like, I was. How would you know you weren't looking at me? I was looking at you. I would come talk to Vern. Y'all be over there. I would be right next to Vern and some other doof that won't be named. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we had table 13 on Smash, okay? Ish, I was, I was in, yo, I was in Greenhouse three nights, four nights a week. I'm Ish. not bragging about that. Yeah, you should be saying yourself. But I was in <laughs> three nights, four nights a week. He I wasn't All I'm saying you is... You might have sprinkled in... This is, this is, drinker this is, is vintage hate. Right. Old hate. Y'all niggas sound nasty. You couldn't even swag surf here! Because he old now. He forgot nigga. bones and ligaments. Joe, he was bones, so he was like this. He ain't want to do it since he got since he lasered his ass. Nah. Hey, <laughs> yo. It's yo. different now. Now the wind gush different when you... <laughs> wind gush. <laughs> ain't no... Y- you didn't do it, Ish. That's it, bro. Right. That's it, But you did it. I believe you, bro. You don't have to argue Ish, with it's me. It's your birthday, my nigga. Ain't no Yamins sure. in here. It's your... They wait, were in Greenhouse. There's not no Yamins in here. No. <laughs> Mel ain't a Yamin. What is she? A mean ya? Your sister. That's your sister too? Touche. <laughs> Hold up. No, nah, don't get That's your cousin, nigga. There you go. That's your cousin. Don't put the. What you said about the cousins? I've been other before. Hey, get out of here, please. What you said about the cousins, Flip? Go ahead on now. I'm not going to say it. Wait, that is. You all of us. She's all of us. She's all of us. She's all of us. She's all of us. Yeah, you all of us. You never said if it was West or not. Stop playing. Nah, that's Dominican. Dominican. That's both. Nah, Puerto Rican don't do that. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. yes, they do. With do. Some of y'all. I'm black. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Mama black. Oh, man. 
Great show today, you guys. Great show. Today. <laughs> <laughs> yo. It's just so stupid, it's yo. Stupid, yo. <laughs> can you swag to this ish? Huh? You can swag to this. He day. started moving a little bit too. Yeah. Yeah, Stiff ass shoulders. Come on, ish. Yo, that nigga ain't never swag, surf, Harlem. Yes, he did. Har- uh, you did the Harlem shake. shake. You all nah, That nigga up? ain't never two step. He ain't never did the waddle. The kid in play, the walk, the cabbage, the patch. snake cabbage. He ain't never did shit. Why ain't come on here and lie? Now when I expose the lie, it sound like I'm hating. What's the top three dances you did, Ish? You did the cabbage patch? Yo, dog. Ish said he used yes, to dance. So no. Dancing used to be cool yeah, in our niggas hood. Used to Don't tell him what dance. You exactly. had to be nice to Where's get to the right. answer. What's the three dances when, you did? Yo, so Soulja Boy, you're going to do Superman right never. now. Never. That shit was played out. Yo, but right, Kwan, I don't know. All right, do the young jock. All that shit, nigga. Put the kid play on. Do the young jock. Meet me at. All right, yeah, nah. Nah, 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 come on. Yo, got it. It's your birthday. You got it. It's your birthday. We got it for his birthday. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Let me see. Money could get his ass out of here. No. Nah, it's a kick. You got it. It's a kick. Oh, shit. Yeah, he know. No. Oh, come on. I don't know none of this shit. You got to do this one. No. Come on, yo. I don't know yo, this song. Get him up, get him up, get him up. Get him up. Hey, yo, move, yo. Come on, man. Get out of here. Get your fat yeah, ass out. Yeah, now we go. What y'all doing with that? It's your birthday. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you starting? Go right first. 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 I don't know this dance. All right, just watch out. Let's go. 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 Let
Keep us in your prayers. Word. I wish you all of the <laughs> Ivory soap. <laughs> Ivory soap. <laughs> Mal- Martin on ice, Malcolm on ice, <laughs> anything your little heart desires, buddy. Any of your civil rights leaders on ice, you can have it. It's yours. Thurgood Marshall. Thurgood Marshall on ice. Roots on ice. That's your Roots on ice. Keep us in your prayers. We running on skates. Lord knows we need to be there. Antoine. I'm just trying to get us out of here. Until the next time, we bid you adieu, farewell, adios, arrivederci, hasta la vista, au revoir, so long, goodbye. Remember that life is a series of moments, and moments pass. If you love, if you map, if you will. So let's make this one last, time after time. as if it's all we have. Lastly, the baddies are insecure and unaccountable. The stagnant women want to travel, and the closed-minded women want to teach you things. Grab you a Tylenol, you might need it, man. We love y'all. We love you. I will be waiting. Time after time. She sound like shit. That's it. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. No, I wasn't trying to sing. Well, no, I said she sounds like shit. Damn, I Whoa. what the fuck? He pointed. He said she. No. Well, Mel can't sing either, I'm sure. <laughs> Yo. She never got a record deal. Oh, the lady that's singing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, who's that shit singing? Uh, Cindy Lauper. Hey, Cindy, Cindy Lauper. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> she wasn't known for her singing. I know. <laughs> Y'all shit on Cindy Lauper. This was a smash. I don't know what you did. No, I know, no, no. It's, it's, no. No, no, it's definitely a smash. Hey, a lot of us ain't got one of these. Yeah. 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 Kane and Abel got one. This was a All right, we're going to get out of here. Yo, man. Yo, y'all been awesome. Yo, y'all been such an awesome crowd today, man. I can't hold you, man. Can't wait to see you this weekend. It go. <laughs> Falling or flying? <laughs> no more laps. You, you refuse to play a up-tempo joint, right? <laughs> you ain't got no dance laps in there. I played dance laps. It's all right, girl. I have played dance laps. It's all right. Yo, y'all hold it down, man. And they were fire. That's the white people guitar solo. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no,